Good morning, everybody. This is Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards, and collectibles. FJ, yes, you are live. I'm about two minutes late, but thanks for popping into the live stream. And the bibster of all things Wax Packed. The big reveal of my channel name. Thanks for the 60 subscribers that I already have. My daily vlogs will start when I reach 100 subs. Please let me know what you think of the new name. That is awesome, Bibby. <laughs> the bibster of all things Wax Packed. <laughs> I like that. I like that very much. It's okay for being late. Things happen. Yep, yep, yep. So, boom. I'm going to I'm gonna give anybody that showed up to the pre-chat at 10 o'clock. And we'll go through 10.03 for the free entries today. And then we will get into the content at hand. I was going to save this retail pack for later. But it's on standby. If I get my family mail call packages in before the Hall of Fame uh, biography is done today. Sorry about the little shaky there. I bumped into my camera. I had to move things a little bit. I need to get one more thing really quick here. I forgot to put on my, my regular shirt for my Hall of Fame Friday. And then we will get into our content at hand. All right, there we go at 10.03, the bibster of all things wax pack. Now I got to remember to give those to... No, actually, now that it changed to the bibster, I'm going to give those to, th those uh, free spots to you there, Bibby. Um, I'm going to make a command decision here with the new channel content coming up for Bibby. At 100 subscribers, I'm going to make a push to get you to 100 subscribers so you can start your live streams. That's what I'm going to do real quick. And we do have 10.04. Let me finish getting my my shirt for today's, for part one of today's stream. And then after part one of today's stream, we will get ready to move into part two. All right. I'm wearing different things today because I'm going to do one of my uh, Donald Blomdahl by God's grace, grace rants after our regularly scheduled content today. So you can see this is going to be episode 10 Hall of Fame Friday for Earl Averill. Earl Averill, he's going to be front and center here right now. I'm going to slide him over a little bit so I can move the retail box right over here where I can get it all in my channel there and put Earl Everill right here. So we are going to get into our content. I'll probably start my Hall of Fame content at 10.15. So what I will do in the interim here is let me get the Wheel of Names started up here. All right, for 10 through 10.03, and that looks like... Uh, uh, the Bibster of All Things Wax Packed. Uh, and there's a reason I want to give you your entries there, Bibby. Okay? There's a reason I want to give you your entries. Oh, hi, Bibster. Drop your YouTube link so I can subscribe. Well, uh, if you were subscribed to Bibby Bobka and you did it the right way, FJ, you should get him... You should get you 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 are already subscribed to him because even when somebody changes their channel name, you still remain ch uh, linked into their channel. Just so you do know, okay? So let me. So I'm gonna get uh, three for FJ the King and two for Bibster. All things wax packed. I'm gonna get your entries in for today, and then I'll be caught up with that for sure. Let me uh, get that scooted over here. Let me go to the Wheel of Names here and get three for FJ. Get you your three entries there, FJ. All right. Go down to the bottom of my stream here. Control V. All right. I've got yours in there, FJ. And now let me get the 
the brand new Bibby channel. <laughs> the brand new Bibby channel, we'll call it. The Bibster of all things. Oh, okay, you could never find his. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, give me a second here. Let me get your entries in here, and then I will look. I will get uh, the Bibster of all things wax pack. I will get his uh, channel link in there in just a second and pop pop it into the pinned comments up above. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, sorry. I'll leave that there for now. Okay, let me get uh, Bibby in here. There's one entry. Uh oh, where'd the... There's two entries. All right, let me save the the wheel of names here. Save the wheel of names for January 2021. Here we are, the halfway point of the month, and I don't know if it tells me in my settings how many uh names are currently in there i don't think i can get that let me check real quick uh no 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 so oh i got to save this to 500 because i'm sure they're okay all right so i saved it again let me save it real quick on these settings in case I... That's probably what I changed it last time. I probably didn't save it before I went out. So that is saved. Let me go into... Uh, let me look you up real quick there, Vivi. Well, it's probably because he doesn't create any content. So let me... Oh, wait. I think I've got you. Let me see. Did I put you in my uh, channel? Uh, come on. Here, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Oh, wait. No, that's right. Okay. Let me I'm trying to find your uh, Ed, I'm having a hard time finding Bibby's link too. Yeah, it does make it harder to find somebody's channel without the link. So let me go back. Uh Oh, come on, blonde doll. Let me go. Hold on a second. I will find it. And we still got a couple minutes still. So that is not a problem for sure. Um, all right. Let me get into the wheel of names. Yeah, it's hard trying to find you there, baby, without no channel content. But uh, I know there's a way. I know there's a way. Oh, Justin Verlander. Yeah, I know, but um, usually it will show... Let's see. Let me do it in subscriptions. Uh... Oh, my word. Yeah, I'm trying to find, I mean, you look up Bibby Bobkin, it comes up with all this ear, this earwax stuff. It should show a, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why Bibby Bobka is so closely linked to uh, earwax. <laughs> all kinds of earwax build up. Oh, the people that don't clean their ears, my word. Um... 
<laughs> earwax video after earwax. You sure you don't have a company that deals with earwax there, Bibby Bobka? <laughs> oh, my word. And it won't let you link. Oh, my word. You're going to have to when you get a chance there, Bibby. Uh, this is so... Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Subscriptions. It won't even let me search in my people I'm subscribed to, which is over a thousand people that I'm subscribed to. Um, oh, wait. Let me check one, one more area. Let me check one more area. Um, hmm. This is so crazy. Earwax <laughs> is a music channel for music. Maybe due to just changing the name. Um, It should... Yeah, I haven't searched for Bibby Bobka. Uh, let me go back and just search your old channel name because it should come up under that too. Um, let me check Bibby Bobka here again with the old channel name and see if it shows up with uh, Family Milk. Oh, okay, because that's because I put it in Bibby Bo Bobka, not Babka, Bobka. I can see all my channel videos that I shot that I put your name in my title. That's what's kind of nice sometimes. You can put the name of somebody's channel in your title. And that way you come up in search engines too. But I do not see a Justin Verlander picture or anything for anything Bibby Bobka. Yeah, you're going to have to figure out a way maybe if you can go on your computer. You, if you got a computer, hey there, Red Beer Breaks. Hey guys. Sorry, we're trying to find Bibby's new channel here, Red Beard. I don't know if you're by a computer or not, but we cannot find Bibby Bobka's channel link. Um, I'm searching on my computer, and it is 10.15. I got to get into my content here soon. But I cannot find Bibby Bobka's channel anywhere in here. So if you have a way of looking him up there, uh, Redbeard, that would be much appreciated. And try and put his link in here. He doesn't create content, so it has to try and come up as a, a channel name. And I don't know how to search for just a channel name. Uh, filter. Uh, they should do where you can just look for a, a channel name. Hold on. Can you search for channel name and then type in Bibby Bobka? Nope. <laughs> Same search comes up, so that didn't make a difference. Uh, I'm on my phone too. I'm on my phone also. Uh, I'm on my phone. Everybody's on their phone except for me. <laughs> uh, Cardinals fan in here? Where is Car Cardinals fan? Can you look up Bibby Bobka's channel? Uh, and see if you can find him, the Bibster All Things Wax Packed. It won't even let me find, uh, it won't let me find you there, Bibby. Yeah, I can see the icon there, like you had mentioned. Who knows the pic on my channel logo? Uh, rent has been. Rant has been called by... Oh, yeah, I'm going to get into my rant right after my Hall of Fame biography took for today. The Hall of Fame biography for Earl Averill is not awful long today. So if anyone is already subscribed to Bibby Bobka and can look up Bibby Bobka's um, new channel name that he changed to... Uh, the Bibster of All Things Wax Pack, Wax Packed. Um, go ahead and let me know, and we can uh, put that link in the chat here. But until that takes place, 
We're in the dark. All right, somebody already gave me a thumbs down. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Somebody had to just uh, make a uh, thumbs down just because. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'll, go, I'll get into how that works in the analytics also. Um, so if it's the same person giving the thumbs down all the time, trust me, it does not have anything to do with analytics. Uh, but they probably think that it does. So they can put down the thumbs down all they want because they look at the overall performance of your channel. And if they see that one individual is kind of trolling you and constantly putting down the thumbs up, uh, I won't go into all the details on that one. I know some of the back office type stuff that takes place on monetize, monetized channels. Uh, Haley Deegan, NASCAR fan. <laughs> not me, thumbs down. <laughs> I'm not saying it was you there. Uh, oh, there we go. Got his second channel in there. Haley Deegan, NASCAR uh, uh, fan, 1990. And you can see that's his same. That's just a shadow, uh, a shadow account that he's got set up. He's got Cardinals fan 1990 and Haley Deegan NASCAR fan 1990 is the same person. So you can have more than one channel name for your channel, by the way. Um, I choose to just keep one channel name for my account. So that's just my choice. So we are running a little bit late here, but we will get ready to go up. Uh, I gave a thumbs up. Oh, I'm sure you did. We got six thumbs up. All we got to do is uh, get about 11 or 12 thumbs up to the one thumbs down, and that keep, keeps me up into the 90 percentile, which is good for a channel. Anything 90 percent and above is good. So um, the Bipster of all things wax packed is Chuck in the house. There you go, Chuck Dupri Sports Cards. What's up, gentlemen? And I use that term loosely with some of you. <laughs> hey, Chuck, if you're on a computer, can you look up Bibby's uh, new channel name and try and put the link to that down in the chat? That would be appreciated. If you're on your cell phone, I understand fully. Because when I do my live stream, either people are. Uh, uh, Red beer breaks. I hope not. FJ shouldn't be a mod of anything. <laughs> Isn't Deerman a moderator? Um, I'll go into that when I go through my rant stage of the of the of the stream. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water, and we're going to get into our content. Oh yeah, FJ is is uh, one of my number one supporters. I'll just say it that way. And I don't think FJ would do anything wrong in my channel. Uh, he is a 100% supporter in my channel for sure. Uh, I didn't mean you, FJ. My apologies. I meant Dearman. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I'll leave that between Dearman and... Uh, Ethan's Elvis covers and more. I think, uh, well, I don't want to give everybody secrets away, but I think Ethan did it out of uh, the kindness of his heart, which there's nothing wrong with that, okay? It's all good. It is fine. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get into Earl Averill, and this is episode number 10 for my Hall of Fame Friday biographies, okay, with Earl Averill, and then our question, question, question. We'll see if I get uh, an alert on my um, cell phone for any incoming packages that are inbound. I checked my USPS account, and it does appear that um, I will have three packages coming in today. If it comes in before I end the live stream, we may open up uh, part or open the box of the Bibster of all things wax packed. So I know he said it's going to be a 20 parter. So with it being a 20 parter, um, if we don't start it today, we'll start it tomorrow and it'll probably go into the month of February. Okay. So I don't have school on Monday. Oh, that's cool. I don't have school on Monday. Oh, yeah. Next Monday's a holiday. That's uh, Martin Luther King Day. 
So that is awesome. So without further ado, I'm going to take off my hat. Oh, my word. Let me open up my, uh, my blind here. The sun's coming out. That's a rare occasion today. We almost had a windstorm part two last night, but it only blew for a, a short stint. So we were all good there. Let me get a little bit more there. Might have brightened up the screen just a little bit there. Hopefully with everything that we've got going on but um you can't find his page either yeah we're gonna have to have bibby uh log into his computer one time and probably uh uh yeah actually uh, after our hall of fame stream i'm gonna go into that uh i actually made it up before when you saw me last yeah i was 1.14 i actually made it up to 1.15 but yes, I'm back to 1.3, and I will explain that when we get into, as Bibby calls it. Let me go back up here real quick. I don't want to misquote the Bibster of all things. Um, let me get up here real quick. Uh, what did Bib Bibby say back here? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Uh, rent, let's see, it says, he, he, he said, uh, back at the 1006 timestamp, the bibster of all things wax pack said, rent has been called by Donald Bumbo. I'm going to go into one of my rants. I actually have not gone into a rant since I got my channel monetized, but it seems like I have to remind people again on how you subscribe to somebody's channel. And we'll be using that a lot because I'm going to be promoting the Bibsters. <laughs> I'm going to be promoting the Bibster uh, of all things Wax Pack. Because as soon as we can get him to 100 subscribers, he wants to uh, start doing live streams. So the quicker we can get the Bibster of all things Wax Pack to 100 subscribers, he is going to start live streaming. And I'm excited for that. I don't know if anybody else is, but I'm excited for that. So without further ado, we are going to get into Earl Averell's uh, biography, which won't take too awful long here. And then after that, we will uh, go on to part two, The Rant. And that'll just delay this a little bit, but we'll get the biography done first then i'll turn the camera around so you can see me so you can see me and we will go over the rant of the day the rant of the day and then uh depending on if we get closer to uh family mail call or opening up the retail box here of tops update i'd rather do the mail call and then hold this for another time but this is a backup plan let's say that if my family mail call does not come in today in time, which I don't know. Lately, our mail has been coming in the afternoon, which makes it a little bit harder to do. But I can do, well, actually, if I don't do this, I do have a surprise box that just came in the mail yesterday. It's not necessarily a, uh, a, um, how should I say that? It's, it's a set preview. I'll put it that way. It's a small set preview. So we'll leave it at that. But let's get into the biography for Baseball's Greatest Sluggers, Earl Averell. Okay? Earl Averell. Um, Big Grays, Ball Cards and Auctions is in the house. Hope you're having a great day yes we are there big ray thanks for popping into the stream we got eight watching eight watching eight thumbs up eight thumbs up so let's pop into the stream here and let's get ripping and rolling with today's content okay earl Averell, howard earl Averell, born may 21st 1902 and died august 16th 1983 was an american professional baseball player Okay, 
He played in Major League Baseball as a center fielder from 1929 to 1941, including 11 seasons for the Cleveland Indians. He was a six-time All-Star from 1933 to 1938 and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1975. As far as his Major League Baseball career, he was born in Snohomish, Washington, Believe it or not, Snohomish, Washington is not far at all from me. Probably about on our, probably about 20 miles from where I live. Averill broke into the major leagues in 1929 at the age of 27 with the Cleveland Indians. He played for Cleveland for over 10 years and remains the all-time Indians leader in total bases, runs batted in, runs and triples. He also remains third in all-time Indians hits and doubles, and fourth in all-time Indians home runs and walks. During his time in Cleveland, the team never finished higher than third place. His nickname was the Earl of Snohomish. He famously hit the line drive that broke Dizzy Dean's toe in in the 1937 All-Star Game. Dizzy, who had an had averaged 24 wins a season up to then, had only four wins a season after, changed his delivery due to the broken toe, damaged his arm, which led to his retiring in 1941 at the age of 31. Averill was the first major league player to hit four home runs in a doubleheader, three home runs in the first game and one in the second. On September 17, 1930, he was also one of the first players to hit a home run in his first major league at bat. April 16, 1929, on opening day, Averill batted 378 in 1936 leading the American League in hits with 232, but finished second to Luke Appling in the batting race. Appling batted 388 for the White Sox. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to turn off my sound on my phone. Let me get into the chat real quick here. Okay. I hope you're having a great day. Yes, we are. Thanks, FJ. Uh, What is rant of the day? Um, Just be patient there, FJ. As soon as we finish here, I will go over the rant of the day. Okay. It's nothing that I hope to have to do too often, but we'll see how the channel moves forward. Hello, Big Ray. Uh, Bipster, all things wax pack, has five thumbs up there. All right, appreciate that, FJ. I used to do YouTube, but I quit. <laughs> Big Ray's ball cards in auctions. Wow, records holding up. Oh, yeah, sometimes they do, that's for sure. Let me uh, update my chat here so I know where I left off. All right, so let me continue here as we roll through. Um. Oh, let me move this guy right about there. Get that out of the way a little bit here. Okay, so during a July 1st incident in 1935, Averell was lighting firecrackers with his four children as part of a pre-4th of July celebration. One exploded while he was holding it, and he suffered lacerations on his fingers of his right hand as well as burns on his face and chest. After several weeks, he made a full recovery. In 1937, Averill experienced temporary paralysis in his legs and was diagnosed with a congenital spine condition. This caused him to alter his batting style and become less of a power hitter. Averill was traded to the Detroit Tigers in the middle of the 1939 season, June 14th. The following season, his playing time was limited, but the Tigers reached the World Series. In the seven-game series against the Cincinnati Reds, the 38-year-old Averill went 0-3 for in three pinch-hit attempts. The Reds won the series four games to three. In 1941, Averill struggled with the Boston Braves and was released on April 29th. He He would down his pro career in the Pacific Coast League with the Seattle Rainiers. In a 13-year 
career, Averell was in 1,669 games played, compiling a 318 batting average um, with uh, 1,224 runs scored, 401 doubles, 128 triples, and 238 home runs, 1,164 RBIs, 700 and 74 base on balls with a 395 on base percentage and a 534 slugging percentage. Defensively, he recorded a 970 fielding percentage. He hit better than 308 times. He recorded his five hit games in his major league career. After baseball, after his career, he was a very out he was very outspoken on being elected to the Hall of Fame. While he did not campaign for induction, he did make the statement that had I been elected after my death, I had made arrangements that my name never be placed on the Hall of Fame. Averell was inducted in 1975, eight years before his passing. He made news of a different sort, according to Baseball Digest. In the early 1960s, when he was uh, boarding an airplane to fly to a site for an old-timers game, he insisted on bringing his own bat in a gun case. His son Earl D. Averell also played in the majors from 1956 through 1963. He was mainly a catcher but also played left field and a few games at infield. All right, and then one little minor update here on this. So Earl Averell was a center fielder, born May 21st, 1902, in the city of Snohomish, Washington. He died August 16th in 1983 at the age of 81 in Everett, Washington, which where I am in Arlington, there's Marysville, and then Everett, Washington is two towns away from me south on the Interstate 5. So that was very cool. Um, he batted left-handed and threw right-handed. His MLB debut was April 16, 1929 for the Cleveland Indians. His last MLB appearance was April 25th, 1941 for the Boston Braves. All right. His MLB statistics, batting average, his overall batting average for his career was 318. He hit 238 home runs and 1,164 RBIs. He played for the Cleveland Indians in 1929 to 1939, for the Detroit Tigers in 1939 to 1940, and the Boston Braves in 1941. All right, his career highlights and awards. He was in six All-Star games from 1933 to 1938. The Cleveland Indians uh, retired his number three, and then he is inducted also in the Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame. His uh, Baseball Hall of Fame induction was 1975, and it was an election method of the Veterans Committee. So that's how he was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. So other than that, that is Earl Averell's biography for his Hall of Fame. That is how he became a Hall of Fame member. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Uh, at Donald, uh, how far is St. Mary's Church from you? My daughter goes there. Oh, St. Mary's uh, Church in... Um, in, uh, that's in Marysville, Washington. St. Mary's Church is in Marysville, Washington. Yeah, that's the next town south of me. That is very close. So um, I know before when I asked you, you didn't know for sure where she lived. Um, but yeah, if she goes to St. Mary's Church, um, that is not very far from me at all. I'm in Arlington. The next town south is Marysville, Washington. And that is, I believe, on uh, 80th, 88th Street. It is right on 88th Street. That's where the big uh, cemetery is in the town of Marysville. Oh, the next town. Cool. <laughs> yes, Bibby. The Bibster of... I, I got to get, get, get away from calling you Bibby anymore. 
Now I gotta say, the Bibster of all things wax packed. I think I'm gonna be stuck with Bibby, since I know you as Bibby. So I need to get a sip of water there to get ready to, uh, um, let's see. I'm going to get something set up here real quick. And then we will, um, let's see, how am I going to do this real quick? I'm going to try and reposition, reposition my, uh, it's too bad in your settings you can't temporarily turn off the camera here. Oh, okay, so that's nice. So you can save a highlight, enable the flash, you can share it out. Oh, wow. I'm learning more that I can do with the app here by choosing the settings, but that's awesome. Um, so let me see if I can figure out how to get this adjusted real quick. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out how to turn the camera around here, but I, I'm going to re reposition it on another tripod that I have that my daughter gave me for Christmas. So let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> the blister of all things wax packed. I just realized it was Bibby late to the show as normal. Bipster's wax packed racks. <laughs> or is it rocks? <laughs> Bibby, what are you doing already today? <laughs> Let me get the the Bibster of all things uh, wax packed. Let me get your entry into... Uh... Oh, and by the way, again, Bibby, thanks for being a channel member. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You'll be eligible for new stuff starting the month of February. Let me get into the Wheel of Names here real quick. Let me get Bips, the Bipster of all things wax packed. All right, I got you in there. And you are now saved for the month of January. All right, NASCAR can't wait until tomorrow, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we know NASCAR. You you mentioned it every time you're in here. I think it's your birthday, right? Okay, happy early birthday there, NASCAR. Thanks for popping into the stream here. Happy birthday, NASCAR. Da -da -da. I'm going to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy one day early birthday to NASCAR. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Forever more. And that's my sneak preview of my future content. <laughs> Guess what? One person is doing for my birthday an American truck simulator for the PC. That's interesting. That's cute. That's awesome there. Uh, uh, probably all I would do for you when you come in there in NASCAR is wish you a happy birthday again. <laughs> but that's cool. <laughs> all right. Let me see. I'll tell you what. I'm going to move this over here out of the way for now. Sorry, Kevin. I'm going to cover you up. I'm going to put uh, Earl Avarillo away for now, since we are, well, here, I'll set him over here. I think that will work. And um, for now, I'm going to debark the phone from my current tripod, so it will get dark a little bit. You'll see the, the ceiling up here. I'll wave to you. I'm here. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way temporarily. We'll reinstall it when I get everything else set up here. And then, uh, let me turn the camera around for now. Let me see if I can get this all repositioned in here and this other tripod. Uh, don't mind me. 
There we go. Okay. I think I've got that in here. Let me get this repositioned here. You can see uh, Ethan and Chuck and uh, Mike Myers there. Uh-oh, here we go again. <laughs> Real quickly. Let me, and then uh, there you can see, uh, there you go. Uh, that's, uh, this here is uh, John Jabs' uh, docs in there and Ethan's Elvis covers and more along with Ethan's card, Chuck Debris and Mike Myers. But let me, uh, I got another uh, big, big raise, balls and cards auction. Let me get his entry into the, the Super Chat giveaway. The Super Chat giveaway, giveaway for the month of, um, the month of uh, January. Let me get a big raise, ball cards and auctions. Let me get him entered into my Wheel of Names for the month of January. Appreciate that there, Big Rays, Ball Cards, and Auctions. Appreciate that, Super Chat. <clears throat> Let me get that in here and save it so we don't lose any of the names there for everybody's entries. Uh, I'm just hungry and feeling like a true ballpark, Frank. <laughs> a true ballpark, Frank. That... that that would be awesome that's for sure so we are going to get ready to go into my rant for today and i will do the unveiling uh, uh who says ethan's who saw ethan's picture of what he looks like when he pulls a yankees card <laughs> i don't know i'd have to see that picture <laughs> i definitely have to see that picture but um let me Turn my camera around real quick here in just a second. Got to get this kind of lined up. Turn the camera around. There we go. I'm going to adjust this a little bit more. Epic photo. All right. I think we've got that. Um, let's see. Let me back this up a little bit more. I'm going to tip the camera a little bit more and get it pre-positioned here so that you can... There we go. I think you can see my shirt better. You can see I have another t-shirt on underneath of here. That's going to be part of the rant. But I do want to show that I did have, I do have a different ball cop cap on today. Um, and this is the Hall of Fame members type shirt. Of course, you can kind of ignore the Seattle Mariners that it says right here. Okay. You can, you can ignore that. That's for sure. But um, I'm going to go into a little bit of a rant. But to do so... I'm going to disrobe this shirt to reveal the shirt that's underneath as I do that. Don's going GQ. Yeah, I'm going to go GQ. You're going to see me take off my shirt. Don't worry, I won't blind you too much. But it is a white t-shirt white under here, okay? Matter of fact, instead of showing you all my glory... <laughs> I'm just going to sit down and pull the shirt, pull this shirt off, and that way you can see the other shirt. I will have to take these glasses off so I won't tear them off and ruin my glasses. And I will take my hat off, so don't let the shiny top blind you, okay? I'll just give you a forewarning. Don't let the shiny, this shiny top up here blind you, okay? <laughs> but without further ado, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to take this shirt off here and show you my undergarment for today. Let me cover up my blindy, blind head here. And you'll see my, my shirt for today is... My shirt for today is... Oh, let me put my glasses back on so I can see. Where did I put my glasses? Oh, right here. I almost couldn't figure out where I put my glasses. I hardly could see them. <laughs> but comment, commit, and stick. Comment, commit, and stick. Okay? So I do will like interaction in the stream today. It's required in the chat if you're able to do so. So we do have six people watching. 
And after I get done with my rant and showing you and telling you how things work in YouTube land, um, I will not reveal um, the main thrust of the content, okay? Um, I'm going to adjust this a little bit more so I, I don't have to strain so much to show the back there. Now when I scoot back a little bit here, you can probably see. Let's see. I don't want to squish something to, to the side there. But there we go. Comment, commit, and stick. I need pe some pe some of the people in the chat to tell me what that means. Comment, commit, and stick. I want to see how, how committed you all are to... Uh, we've had this discussion of this briefly before. Yes. Early on last year, when I became monetized in 2020, I was doing some of these rants. That's because there are people out there that do not do it correctly. Okay? So, uh... I appreciate, let's see, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions has been here for a while. The Bibster, Bibby, uh, All Things Wax Packed. Um, FJ De K the King probably isn't familiar with these rants. Uh, there we go. The B Bibster of All Things Wax Pack says, comment in a video, subscribes, subscribe and like a video. Uh, yes, that is pretty close to the the whole thing. Um, I'll give you some pointers here on how YouTube works with their analytics. Blah, blah, blah. Analytics. Okay. And that is, it's nice to get the thumbs up in your, in your live streams. And I'll tell you, I'll go into that uh, in, in, in a little bit. Oh no, we'll, we'll talk about one step at a time. So it's okay to get your thumbs up. Your thumbs up. You want to strive for thumbs up in your live stream. The reason why you want to do that in your live stream, and that's why Ethan waits until he gets to a certain level on his live stream um, to go ahead and go with his sales when he does a sale because he wants to get maximum viewership of his channels. And how do you do that? Um, when you start out at 10, depending on the size of your channel, uh, you will start getting YouTube pushing your channel out. When your live stream goes over an hour, they're wondering, what are you doing in an hour there? And they'll see, okay, well, he don't have too many people watching. He's got six people watching. He's got nine thumbs up. Uh, we don't want to start promoting him yet, okay? Uh, when you start getting into the double digits on the, on, on, on the uh, thumbs up, that's why I say thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. The thumbs up really works. As long as you're getting that commitment to your people that are viewing or people that stop by your stream. One of the things also, if you jump, if you go to somebody's live stream, if you go to somebody's live stream, you want to spend at least at a minimum three to five minutes. I recommend five minutes to stay in a live stream when you stop and visit somebody to hop on board their bus. Okay, and we'll go into why we say bus in our channel. But uh, comment, commit, and stick. So thumbs up first. All right. Commenting in the live stream does help too. That shows interaction with not only the creator, but the people that are viewing your channel. That shows the interaction with YouTube that there's a lot of commenting going on in the, in the live stream. I know a lot of times when I do my live streams, um, people are at work and they're just watching on their cell phone and they can't necessarily type in a comment every once in a while, that's understandable. It doesn't bother me. That's between uh, me and YouTube as to what's going on with the analytics of my channel. But the driving point between me uh, coming on today and doing this comment, commit, and stick. You want to comment to somebody's video, all right? That doesn't take place during the live stream. The comment, commit, and stick takes place after the content's created, okay? This is the, the base, this is the base phase of how your channel gets monetized, okay? This is how you get monetized and interacted and how many times do people re-watch your content? For my, you know, I've got over a thousand subscribers. 
Do I ever see even a hundred people in my stream? No. But do I have people that watch my replays because they can't be here in the live stream? Yes, they do. The only thing that hurts a creator is when they create the content and people aren't going through when they watch your content. You have to give a thumbs up to the video when you're watching the replay. Make sure you put in a heartfelt comment, not just a couple of emojis here and there. Okay, you have to put in heartfelt comment. Why you like the content that was being created. That helps out in the long run. Okay, um, other than that, um, the other thing is uh, com uh, commit. What's that? My wife is trying to do to, do to me. <laughs> commit. Uh, comment commit. To commit to the channel, you want to uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications. Believe it or not, you can subscribe to a channel and that's good. When you turn on the, the bell notifications, that means you're committing to getting a notification from YouTube that your creator that you're uh, subscribed to, will, will, they'll send you a notification saying that Donald Blomdahl, by God's grace, is live or has created a new video. So it doesn't have to be the live streams. I create videos that just get uploaded a couple times a week. Okay? You'll get notified when I, com when I create new content to put on the channel. Okay? So comment, commit, and then stick. By sticking, that's going through and going back and reviewing content that you haven't watched. Um, the reason I create playlists on my channel, playlists are integra integral for YouTube. I have many, many, many play... I, I'm working on striving. I've got at least probably close to 90 different playlists on my channel. Why do I have 90 different playlists? You can turn on a playlist and watch that playlist. It might be five videos. It might be 30 videos. But if you click on that playlist, start the playlist, all you have to do is comment on the first video on that playlist, and you can play the whole playlist through without comments. The only key note I'll throw out there that helps out, if you don't wanna hear the content being played in the background, if you wanna just let it play, gives me watch hours, that's perfect. All you have to do is turn your volume down to where you can just barely hear it. it. Has to be at least one notch. If you mute the channel, if you mute the channel so you don't get no sound, the creator doesn't get any credit for that time. Because YouTube saying they're just playing the video, but they're not listening. They're not listening. So when you mute it, it does not count. Sad, isn't it? But you know what? That's them cru uh protecting not only the content, the creator, but that means if it's a channel that has commercials turned on, that means the commercials aren't being listened to. So they're not going to give you any financial monetization for uh, commercials being played, but people can't hear what the commercial's saying or the content that's being said. So you have to do that right. Comment, commit, and stick. And sticking to the channel is just maybe once a day or at least once a week, watching some of the videos of that content creator that you subscribe to. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, good morning, Robert. Greeting. Da, 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 da. Let me uh, refresh the chat here. Uh, make sure I know where we're at as we roll along. I'm trying to keep... I've got two computers running here. So I can view the content depending on what I'm doing. Uh, not fair for the deaf community. Um, not necessarily. All you have to do in your channel is turn on. All you have to do is turn on the uh, closed captioning. If you have closed captioning, you'll see that on most channels. I have my default settings to turn on the closed captioning. Uh, sometimes I have to go through and review my content depending on how I create my stuff. And sometimes I, I'll go through my back office and my YouTube monetization and make sure my closed captioning is turned on. 
That way you'll see the words down below what the person's saying so that the people that are deaf can see the, ch the chat in the closed captioning. So big raise, bulk cards, and auctions. YouTube has got around that. You can watch somebody's content with closed captioning turned on. You just learned, learned something new. So um, I'm trying to remember, Big Ray, how many subscribers do you got? How many subscribers do you got there, Big Ray? Uh, Donald, all the corners covered. Awesome. No, that, that's why I like to mention this every... See, you got about 60 subscribers. So if you are you creating content there, Big Ray's ball cards and auctions? It says you're doing auctions, so I'm assuming you do do auctions also. Make sure you have your closed captioning turned on. Okay? I'm pretty sure if you go into your backs off, back office in YouTube, let me look in the channel back office for my channel. Um, you have a section where you have audio library. Um, but you, you go into your customization of your channel, your monetization, and different things like that. You've got subtitles. But in here, in your settings, um, you should have a default section where you can turn on uh, yes, but no auctions live yet. Uh, learning Streamlabs. Oh, no problem. Yeah, Streamlabs is awesome. That's, that's what I initially used until I got monetized. And then Streamlabs kind of threw me a loop there and gave me a hard, hard chance, a hard time there. Let me check something here. I am expecting maybe those packages in. Da -da -da. No, that's not. Okay. That just says likely scam. I don't like getting scam calls. That's telemarketers. Um, so yeah, um, make sure you have on your closed captioning. That is awesome. I mean, every once in a while you'll see where I uh, put these little special effects on here. I can do one really quick here and you'll see that. Um, let me see, let me turn on the bubbles here. <laughs> there, now does that remind you of Lawrence Welk with the bubbles floating around? I wanna try and pop some of them, it doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work but I don't I don't use these sometimes when I close a stream I might turn on one of those special effects um, I could turn on uh, I can crush it crush it uh, gives you these few settings here that you can deal with uh, give you give you a, an eight millimeter look there where it kind of looks like uh, you're an old old time movie or something uh, those old time home movies that maybe some people are familiar with and stuff but uh, I can go into documentary mode where it looks like a, a sepia type um, those are just fancy neat things that you can do with uh, some of the different options that going live from your your phone uh, works um, but yeah I felt loud Lawrence Welk now you're taking it back <laughs> There you go, Big Ray. Big Ray's ball cards and auctions. With me with the Lawrence Welk look. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm not belaboring this, but I just want to want to go over some of the different options uh, that are out there for sure. So I'm gonna turn that off for now. Let me turn, actually I can turn the chat. I don't know why I don't have the chat in here. That way I could see when somebody types something in right away. I can turn the chat on or off on my, on my phone when I'm doing my stream. Then I just have to pay attention to uh, what's taking place on my computer if I turn it off there. Speaking of Streamlabs, a, a Bipster sighting will be happening soon with a Blomdahl collab. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. I, I didn't want to say anything because Bibby said he would let me know when he's eligible um, to do that, um, I'm going to go into, oh, but it's not going to be on Streamlabs. It's going to be on StreamYard. StreamYard is another one um, that I use quite frequently for uh, my pre-recorded content. So when I'm recording content that I don't want to go live, actually I used it to schedule all my streams before. And then uh, that way it's already there. But then when StreamYard's kind of blew me out of the water and I kept not getting good service from StreamYard. Um, they kind of did away with me. So I kind of, 
I kind of gave up on uh, on all of that. But um, it will be StreamYard. You didn't have to delete that, Bibby. <laughs> we would have been fine there. Yes, but no auctions yet. Live. Uh, da, 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 da. I already did that. But you, you can you can fix that if you want there, Bibby. But that's okay. Yeah, there are multiple avenues. Uh, collab soon on StreamYard. <laughs> there you go, Bibby. Thanks for that. You didn't have to change it. That's fine. You could have left it that way. Um, but yeah, so that's why I just kind of wanted to go into comment, commit, and stick. And that's why I do go to a lot of my channel members. Uh, trust me, I've got so many people that I've subscribed to. They're not even card channels. Um, trust me, when you reach out and are, are grinding for subscriptions, when you get into going through it, and make you're going to have to make sure you have enough time to do it. I was retired from uh, the, the from my Navy job, from my post office. And it wasn't until this last summer that I got my Social Security coming in. So I've got three avenues of income. Some people say I'm triple dipping, double dipping. Um, I just made career choices. I did 20 years in the military. I served my country with pride. Then I did 20 years with the post office. I served my country again in that. So for 40 years, 40 years, um, I served my country in uniform. That's, that's the way I look at it. When you are a city carrier for the United States Postal Service, I had to wear a uniform to work every day. So for 40 years, I served my country. Four, zero, 40 years. And then... Uh, just about a year and a half after that, I um, was able to draw my Social Security at 62. I took it at 62. God bless our great nation. Hopefully, yes, hopefully our nation will continue to be blessed. But I think our politicians are trying to do elsewise. But we'll see what happens starting next Wednesday. We need to be praying for our country next Wednesday that all the civil unrest does not take place as you're hearing through the news media and stuff. We gotta definitely pray for our country for sure. Okay, and I'll just give you a real quick, uh, a cr real quick update on what the status is of my mom back east. It's a mess out there, Donner. Yes, it is there, Red Beer Breaks. It's a mess out there for sure. Um, so, um, yeah, let, let, let me finish the rant first, and then I'll give you an update on uh, what how my mom's doing, okay? Still need a lot of big prayers being sent up for my mom. But uh, let me finish my rant first on my YouTube channel. So I kind of went over comment, commit, and stick. Um, I was kind of excited this last week. I was really kind of excited, not for what's going on with my mom. And thank you for praying for my mother. Appreciate that, Red Beer Breaks. And... Uh, Big Ray's ball cards and auctions. Uh, yeah, Red Beer Breaks has been pop. He, he's popping into the chat every once in a while here. Um, hanging out for sure. But um, so this last week I was thinking, wow, I'm doing pretty good. I've been to Red Beer Breaks. I've been to uh, Bud Stoney's channel. Those, those guys are awesome. Bud Stoney did his epic, epic, super long stream. Um, I haven't done one quite as long as he did, but I couldn't support him the whole time because I have my time that I go live every day. But I did, uh, yeah, but I took a lot of time out to, to, to help out Red Beer Breaks and uh, Bud Stoney and his channel. I've been to a couple other channels, some of the new ones that I've be come in touch with, with uh, the different channels I've been visiting recently. And I appreciate that. Uh, but f I would say probably from... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. His was a 16-hour marathon. That's a long stream for somebody old like me. But I do have a, I think I have a 12-hour stream out there. Uh, I did do a 12-hour. It's kind of hard. I, one day I might try and do a 24-hour, but it's very difficult. And then uh, I do have, a, I believe it's, correct me if I'm wrong there, Bibby. I know you said you watched it recently, about an 8 to 9-hour garage sale stream. I did that, um... I believe it was last summer. I believe it was last summer or 2019. Things are blurring sometimes, and I don't know exactly, but uh, you're such a great guy, Donald. Uh, I truly appreciate you and the support for the channel. 
I, I try and do that as much as I can. But this is the disappointing part. I was so excited earlier in the week. Uh, even FJ, he was in here. Um, a couple people mentioned it. It looked like it looks like you're you're up to like 1.4, 1.14. And then uh, it was just about a day or two ago I looked and I was like, oh, wow, actually I'm up to 1.15. So that means I have 1,150 subscribers. And I'm like, finally, I'm seeing some growth in the channel. And then, uh, of course, uh, late last night, I, ch I popped into my channel seeing how things were doing. Because you have to check your channel almost on a daily basis to see how your your progress is going. And I looked up in there and I was like, all right, I want to see it. I want to see it still at 1.150. And I looked in there and it was like 1.137. So you'll see my subscriptions on here. It'll show if you see uh, when you're at my, my home screen and stuff, it'll, it'll show 1.13. Because I I lost 13 subscribers. And you think, wow, how could you lose 13 subscribers that fast? I told people, I tell people all the time. I mentioned it in Bud Stoney's, Stoney's Great, uh, or live stream. I've mentioned it in Redbeard's uh, uh, live stream. It's the YouTube daily cleansing of subscriptions. Thank you there, baby. The Bibster of all things Wax Pack. He's not even done live streams, and he knows how this works already, people. You have to pay attention to all the rules and regulations of how now YouTube operates. They do almost a 24-hour purge. Sometimes if they're falling behind or if their computer system has a lot more data to go through, sometimes it may take a little bit longer. It took a little bit longer than two days ago when I saw I had 1,150 subscribers. And you know why? Somebody will come to your channel when you're doing a live stream and they'll they'll subscribe to your channel. And then they'll say, all right, I subscribed. I'm good to go. Not the case. Not the case at all. So I, I, I wish Bud Stoney would have been in here. I know Redbeard's in here. Hopefully he's listening in the background. But when somebody comes to your channel... They have to like, like, comment, and subscribe. Here's how this plays into effect. That's why I'm wearing commit, comment, commit, and stick. Okay, comment. You have to comment to a video, not the live stream. You can text in the live stream, and that works while you're doing your live stream. Okay, I've gone over all this before in the past, but it came to my attention that I have to mention it again especially to my channel streamers that come in here. You have to go back and you can go back to this this video after it uploads, after the live stream is done. Go into the video, make a comment, give the video a thumbs up. When you're doing it, you can, you can actually do two thumbs up for this video. You can give me a thumbs up while we're doing the live stream. And then when you watch the replay, you can give another thumbs up. And then leave a comment. Leave a comment to that video, okay? Go into the stream after it's ended or go to some of my other content that's on my channel. I have short content. That's a couple minutes. The reason I say a couple minutes, if you're going to somebody's channel and the video is less than two minutes, YouTube doesn't count that content. Any content in your channel, that's why it's a good preview Preview video for your channel content needs to be about a two to three minute video to introduce your channel and say what it's about. If you've done that over the time, you, you have two different intro videos you can put on there. For uh, somebody that's new to your channel, you can have an introductory. This is what my channel is about. Then for return subscribers, you can can have a two minute video that's easy and I change mine around every once in a while. For people that are already subscribed to me, what I do is I change that video every month. Why do I do that? Well, one, so that video gets some more viewership, okay? So that, con that channel will get viewership and then that gets a little bit more insight and YouTube saying, oh look, these people are watching this other video on his channel. It's an older video, but they're watching his old content too. That helps out in the long run too. But comment and then commit. Commit to that channel. 
you got to make an appearance every once in a while to stay subscribed to the channel or you'll get purged out. So this last week or two where I went into Redbeard's and uh, Bud Stoney's channels, probably some of their channels did come in and subscribe to me. They subscribed and said, okay, I'm going to subscribe to Donald Blondahl by God's grace. And I appreciate all those subscriptions. But most likely, none of those people followed through. None of the, uh, yeah, <laughs> I saw the super chat. I just want to finish this one thought process and then I'll get you, Robert. I haven't forgot about you. <laughs> I appreciate that commercial break. <laughs> but let me finish this one thought first. So this this little shout out here is for oh there there's the five dings. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna ring the bell. I'm gonna ring the bell. Give me a, give me a few more seconds. So um, for Red Beard Breaks and uh, uh, Bud Stoney's channel, if you see the replay on this, or uh, Red Beard, if you can mention it to Bud Stoney when you see it, or uh, or uh, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions, if you guys could do this and mention this to them. That they need to mention, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. That's the big mantra in YouTube. But I go one step further when I go in to talk about it. You need to comment, commit, and stick to that channel. You have to go at least, at least on an average, at least one time a week, and watch some of that, some of your main subscribers to your channel that want to help promote you. You need to help them too. So I'm not, I'm not trying to do just for me. It's not just about me. It's about our card community. I've been saying this for over a year. We have an awesome card community. And it's slowly picking up and other people are talking about this. Everybody thinks, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm labeling a new, a new phrase, card community. I've been saying this for over a year when I got monetized. This is it. This is a awesome card community that we have. I'm going to get baseball card community t-shirts made up and start maybe promoting them on my channel. I don't know if I, if I could afford to do that. I don't know if I can in my budget being a retiree. I'm on a reti I can't go to work and work some overtime to try and get something special I want to add into the channel. What you get now is what I have. I've gone through all my wax boxes. I've gone through all my uh, box breaks I'm doing. This is my last box that I'm buying as 2020 product. This was the last one. All right. So uh, this is good stuff, Don. I have done it just through attrition. But now I need to go back and comment on replays. Oh, yeah, that is the other thing. Hold on, let me do this commercial break and then remind me I want to talk about uh, comments, okay? That is very important down the road. And what I realized, my first six months probably grinding um, to get subscribers, I forgot to do something. I'm going to tell you that right after this commercial break. All right, this is a commercial break for Robert Hone. Robert Hone, I'm going to get you in for five entries in the Super Chat giveaway. I know you didn't do that. You're doing that to support me, and I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support I can get on the channel, that's for sure. And I will go into that as part of this rant also. Supporting your creators that you enjoy watching. Um, but let me get this really quick and add him into the Wheel of Names. I know that's not really why you do it. You're doing it to support my channel, and I do appreciate it. Um, oh, not that one. Uh, wrong computer here. Uh, get this in here. All right, I got your five entries in here. get you saved really quick and then we'll continue on with the rant <laughs> we'll continue on with the rant that's why i was uh bibby wasn't feeling up to it today that's why we're going to do it as soon as he feels well enough to do it 
Um, I'm going to have him on as, as a guest, and we will talk about, maybe we'll get a little sneak peek into what Bibby's going to start doing on his live streams on his channel, okay? But um, let me get back into the stream here. And uh, Kevin's car collecting and more is in the house. How you doing there, Kevin? We are gone. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a rant today. I'm on a rant. I'm on a, a YouTube rant today. Going over cut, commit, and stick. Do you remember back in the days when we when I was doing this? When I was getting starting or trying to get monetized on my channel? Uh, what's the rant topic? Uh, comment, commit, and stick. Comment, commit, and stick. Are you are you in tune with what I'm ranting about? Comment, commit, and stick. And I'm doing it with my special hat on. My man of God. Man of faith. Gotcha. <laughs> I've got my man of faith hat on. Okay. So I'm doing this with... <laughs> you saw that wink there? <laughs> I was so close I forgot what the title on the, sh on the hat said. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see, where was I? Where was I? Oh, yeah, commenting. Commenting first, okay? Commenting first, and I'll probably close with this topic. Commenting to content on your channel. Commenting to content on your channel. So, one thing that's really nice is YouTube likes to see when comments are left on your videos. More like great tube info not to be scrubbed out of sight. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, we can go into some of the other intricacies that YouTube uh, likes. And I know there's some people out there do not like the etiquette in YouTube. But sorry, I had an itch there. I had to itch my arm. Um, but yeah, so... Um, Everybody knows that comments are listed. Well, you have to go into your uh, <clears throat> your channel section, your studio. You have to go into your YouTube studio, and you will see a, uh, a section on there uh, labeled comments. All right, you'll see you go into your YouTube studio. Okay, you click from on your main page. And you go into your studio and you'll see where you have your dashboard, your content, your playlists, your analytics, and your comments. Why do you think that comment section's in there? Can I get any feedback from the channel? Uh, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin likes bibbies. Uh, new, the bibster of all things wax packed. Yeah, there you go, Kevin. That's what you missed out on. Bibby has a new channel name. But... Can anybody out there tell me what the con comment section is in your studio, in your YouTube studio? And if you are not familiar with your YouTube studio, you need to go in there and check that. You need to go in there and check your YouTube studio out. Because if you want to become a content creator, and if you want to actually... If you want to actually... Uh, get YouTube to notice you more, you need to go into your comment section and you will see, if you haven't used it since you started your YouTube channel, you're gonna see a whole lot of con comments to your video content. And this is what I recommend you to do now at your early stage in your content creating is stop into your channel on a daily basis. I do it every morning when I wake up. I go, first thing I do is I share my content out to my other platforms, okay? I mean, on Facebook, I've got more than 5,000, 5,000 5, people that watch my Facebook content. And some people say, I didn't know you were on Facebook. Yep. And believe it or not, when you do StreamYard, you can StreamYard live to uh, Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So when me and Bibby get ready to go live for our live stream coming up, um, when, when he decides to do it with me, we'll be reaching out to about uh, 6,000 people total. It'll be my 5,000 people on Facebook, 
and my 1,000 people, um, my little over 1,000 people on YouTube. So we'll be making our presence known, and we'll, we'll, we'll have some good conversation, I'm sure, because I'm really anxious to, to, to meet uh, Bibby in person in my uh, StreamYard content when we get ready to do that really, really soon. Okay, as soon as as soon as the bibster of all things wax pack is ready, and this will be before he makes. Oh yeah, by the way, Kevin, Bibby said he's gonna go live as soon as he gets a hundred subscribers, and I think he's got sixty. So we only got to get him forty more, forty more subscribers, and he'll go. He'll do start doing live streams. So that's pretty good. He's got sixty subscribers, and he does not even do any content yet. So I'm looking forward to help Bibby grow his channel too when he starts. That'll be fun. Especially all his wealth and knowledge he has from being a local card shop uh, proprietor of a bunch of card shops to uh, doing a YouTube channel. And he'll be able to tell all kinds of neat stories, I'm sure, from what he's done in the baseball card community before being on YouTube. And he can tie that into the YouTube card community that we have. I'm looking forward to that. But back to what I'm talking about right now. Uh, at, Don, at Donald wants to pick my brain. <laughs> yes, we do there, Bibby. And we'll be able to, you'll have to, uh, I'll go over how you'll be able to interact with the chat and be able to see the chat. Uh, there's a section in StreamYard where you're able to watch the, the chat. Uh, but sometimes you want to have a secondary device available so that you can watch the chat also. Because it works a little bit differently when you go live on StreamYard. Um, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So back to comments. So what you want to do when you're early in your channel. Because I didn't do this. My first, I would say, four to five months into my YouTube channel. I didn't know I was supposed to look at the comments. Nobody told me. Nobody told me to look at the comments. So people comment to your videos. People comment to your videos. So... Um, I know I know Kevin does this because he's been through my rants before in the past and my YouTube. Uh, not really, I wasn't promoting YouTube, but I was telling people what they need to do, what they don't need to do. Uh, the Bipster of all things Wax Pack says, I'm taking notes. Sometimes it's good to take notes. I did that at first too. I, I, I wanted to find out how my analytics work why it was important to have playlists on your channel. You can have playlists of other people's content but that doesn't count as your own content. I just keep uh, my favorite videos. When you when you like a video, all right, it adds it to a list of liked videos that you like. And that's a separate story altogether. I don't want to go into that one right now. But comments. Go into your comments. If you have never been there before, you, especially if you have a couple, two or three hundred subscribers to your channel, go in there and you'll find a thing in there that says publish comments or held for review. And then you can choose the settings. You want to go into the settings and say, I want to bring up all the ones that I have not responded to yet. And you're, you're like, what? I got to respond to the comments? Uh, duh. That's why they're there. They want you to see the comments that they put into your content. And they want to get feedback from you. Oh, wait a minute, feedback? You got to do that on your channel too? Yeah, if you want your channel monetized, trust me, it's no easy task. You think, oh, all I do is come in and watch this guy. I, I, I type into the chat. What else do I got to do? Uh, duh, let me think. What have I been ranting about this morning? Oh, comment. Comment. When you're chatting in somebody's live stream, you're not commenting. You're not commenting at all. Oh, wow. Didn't know you could do that in YouTube Studio. Good info. <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of people don't. I, when I started my YouTube channel, I thought, oh, all you got to do is create videos. All you got to do is create videos. Um, initially, you think, that's easy. I can create videos. <laughs> that's a no-brainer. I just... Find the app, use StreamYard, and create the video. I don't, we, they got a back office now. I don't even have to wait till I get to a thousand subscribers. Well, that works for a while, but you'll realize later down the road that you want to just use YouTube and not use the 
the secondary platforms. Unless you're trying to do something different that YouTube don't allow you to do. Which I think down the road, YouTube is going to incorporate a lot of this secondary stuff into our stream so that we can bring guests on to our YouTube. So we can do different things like that. But first they want you to get the YouTube back office all worked out. So you've got to go in and check your dashboard out. Check your content. Check your playlists. That way you can monitor your play playlists and everything to do with them. Your analytics. Once you're monetized, you want to pay attention to your analytics. It tells you how much you earn on your channel. It tells you everything that you do in there. Okay? You got your comments section, your subtitles. Uh, in case you get any copyright strikes. People say, copyright strikes? Why would I get a copyright strike? Oh, when you play some music that you're not supposed to play on your channel. Because if you anticipate on getting your channel monetized, you can get some copyright strikes from either uh, posting up MLB content. You can do MLB content, but don't allow it to be monetized. If you do, you'll get a copyright strike. You can share videos. Like I did one this last, last year about uh, Kyle Lewis when he got his home runs. And I showed the different home runs that he hit through the year and how powerful he is, how, how good he, a defensive and offensive player he is. But you know what? YouTube told me, um, just so you know, you can't get monetized on this. And I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why I turned off the monetization for that video. I just wanted to share it on my channel with something I was working with, with Kyle Lewis, doing a little bit of his history, his background, and I showed those video clips. But I didn't monetize that video for that specific reason. I just wanted to share it and have people come to my channel and watch it. Then if they do come to my channel, because Kyle Lewis was in the title, I could get some viewers. And I got some viewers. That was nice. But you have to be careful. If you're playing music, even ever so slightly, if YouTube picks up on it, they'll give you a copyright strike if you try and monetize that video. A lot of people don't know that either. They're like, oh, really? And look at that, we're up to double digits. That cancels out my one thumbs down that I got in the channel because I'm over 90% now for my YouTube analytics. Um, I got double digits, so now they might notify some other people that are subscribed to me that, hey, you didn't click on to Donald Blondahl yet, but um, he's, he's actually still alive. And it's been uh, over an hour. We're almost an hour and a half right now. How do you monetize and on mon and unmonetize uh you go into your settings for that video for that video content and you choose not to monetize that video you can turn it off or turn it on that's your choice on your on your content i do uh like last year i did my bible reading i read the entire bible through the year all those videos 365 videos i didn't want my bible reading content monetized how rude would that be when somebody's coming in to watch you listen, uh, uh, read the Bible to them and they get a commercial on uh, an insurance commercial or uh, something like that. So I didn't want no commercials on that content. That's not what I, what, what I put those videos up for. But you do get viewership hours from those videos. Every video you create, you will get viewership. It's just that one that you turn off the monetization on you can't earn any money from that video. The only th uh, as far as uh, the commercial, being able to have commercials on there. I have a 15 minute break from class. <laughs> All right. Um, I sent on the 13th. Uh, Red Bear must be talking to somebody in the channel there. Um, so yeah, so you just go into your back office, into your, uh, into your content you go into that video you'll see settings where you can uh, monetize or not monetize but that won't come into effect you can have it set up ahead of time but that won't come into effect oh i sent yours out today donald oh no problem appreciate that rare beer i know you said you were going to be sending it out soon and i do apologize for having to leave last night i had to take a phone call from my family back east and uh some uh information about what was going on with my mom uh Victoria's Secret commercial on uh, on a Bible reading. 
But I thought, wow, could you imagine? Oh, yeah, exactly. I don't want nothing like that. Um, for a while there, they were giving me, like, local commercials about uh, a four-row... A four uh, what, what's that? Red, uh, da, 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 at Redbeard Thinks. The four row box you have for me, it will cost about twenty one twenty to ship. I will pay that so it will ship priority flat mail. Okay, there we go. He's talking about something to Redbeard. Your wife popped in. I'm sorry about what's going on. Oh, that, <laughs> no problem. No problem. She probably did that to just... Uh, I told her I was on live, but I had to take the call, and she probably popped into the channel. Appreciate that. No, I, I hope you you understand. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give an update on that in a little bit when I finish my rant here. But just wanted to go over that. Make sure you go into um, your comment section. And one thing you have to be careful, too, with your comments. Uh, and then also, you'll have your published comments. And if, if, if there's anything somebody put into the comments that you don't feel is appropriate for yours, you'll have some that YouTube will hold for review as either possible spam or whatever they typed into the content. Maybe that's nothing you want on your channel. So you, have a, you do have a chance there to delete any comments that you do not want posted up onto your YouTube channel. So it does give you that. It gives you published and ones that are held for review. I always check that every day just to make sure because I'll get some of these spam comments there for like, uh, uh, I would say kind of like X-rated content. And I don't want that on my channel. My channel's uh, Donald Blomdahl, by God's grace. Why would I want somebody promoting um, uh, sexual content? That's out there. Trust me. It's out there. So whenever I see those, I just delete the comment. I don't let that post up at all. Uh, no worries, brother. Has your name on it. <laughs> I don't know what's that, what that's all about. Uh, at Redbeards. Okay. Week or so. Okay. No problem. All right. So yeah, so j just go in and go through your comments on your channel. You might be surprised how many people have commented to your videos. When I was doing this four or five months into it, uh, somebody had mentioned that to me and I started going in and looked and I'm like, it took me a good couple weeks. I had so many comments in there that I did not make a comment to them. So each and every day I do that now and I stay up to date on all my comments. I don't want it to build up to where there's hundreds if not thousands of comments that I have to go in and leave comments to. I mean, it gets tiring. It did for that one week I was going through that. I was like, I got to do, I, I can't spend a whole day on there here doing this, but I can, I can do about 15, 15 minutes to a half an hour each day trying to slowly clear out my comments that I was backed up on. It was unreal. But that's what YouTube likes to see. When somebody leaves a comment, that you respond to them and then once you've responded to them that comment goes away it's in there still but you've responded to the comment that gives you more more thumbs up and more interaction with your people that are watching your content and you as a content creator responding to their comments keep that in your mind respond to the comments that are given in your channel and keep up to date with it Okay, um, other than that, um, does anybody have any questions for me before we continue on to our next step? Um, I did not get any packages yet. So it said it could. They could come by early. I don't know if they will today or not. Okay, I get an update here. A shipping label was created from Lutherville, Timonium, Maryland. <laughs> That's an interesting place. I don't know if I ordered anything from there, but Lutherville, Timonium, Maryland. Never even heard of that town. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Okay. All right, 
So nothing new here yet. As far as any packages being delivered to me yet, I'll get a notification when they put it in my mailbox saying it's here. Um, I'm going to spread the word Sunday about your monthly auction on the live stream. Oh, no problem. No problem. Um, yeah, if you do want to, um, what I've decided for this new live stream, since it is 2021 now, I am going to go through um, a lot of my insert cards and uh, short print cards, things of that nature, serial numbered cards. But it's all, it's all going to be 2020 products. All my sale for this upcoming sale on the 30th of January. And I've got probably a good uh, good box of almost close to 500, 400, 500 cards. We'll see how much we can get through it. We may not go through it all. But I, I, I will go through it in a pretty pretty smooth fashion. I might not have a lot of auctions. I'll probably have a lot of sales. And um, I will tell you one thing. They will probably be awesome deals and awesome steals, if you know what I mean there. Uh, uh, at Redbeard's, uh, mention Sunday what you're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Redbeard. Go ahead and type something in if you want to promote your sale for this Sunday. Uh, Hollis Auction tonight and Red Beer and Stony Auction Sunday. Good stuff. Um only because of financially on my end, I'll probably have to lay low on the, on the, uh, on purchasing from people. I feel really bad on this. It's because I'm in a little financial crunch right now. Um, we had our furnace service yesterday, and uh, lo and behold, I did not want to hear what the furnace people told me. I kind of feared it was so, um, but it looks like I have to buy a new furnace for the house. But I think we can probably muddle through the rest of winter. And so it might give me a little bit more time as far as maybe before fall sets in next year to to buy a new furnace for the house. So I got to either figure out um, <laughs> how to uh, outright buy it so I could avoid finance charges. But uh, I'll probably have to work out a payment plan with them and try and make payments on the furnace. It's going to roughly cost me probably about three thousand five hundred dollars for a new furnace for the house but when you really think of it um I, we've been in the house for 21 years i did about seven years ago they put a new uh uh what what uh, burner exchanger or something like that whatever that part of the furnace is i'm not mechanically inclined <laughs> um so um i'm just uh um that's pretty much what I'm what I'm in in the boat for now. I have to try and save up some money to get a new furnace for the house. Um so that's pretty much the boat I'm in right now. So hopefully my little rant here about comment committing and sticking uh made a uh a good uh good amount of in intel into what it takes to monetize your channel. And I will give you an update I will give you an update on the 19th of January, which is next Tuesday. I will do another special uh, comment, commit, and stick. But um, the next Tuesday will be my one-year anniversary. It'll be one complete year. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of my back office. Some of my back office, and then you'll understand how some of the the YouTube analytics work. So if you're able to tune in next Tuesday on the 19th of uh, January, I'm going to do a big reveal on how much money I earned in my first year of being monetized. You think, oh wow, he probably made all kinds of money. <laughs> uh, thank you there, Robert. <laughs> Oh boy, let me get Robert in. He's got five more entries. It says, his super chat says, I appreciate that, Robert. It, it wasn't necessary for that. That's not why I mentioned it. But I do appreciate it. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just go over here to the Wheel of Names. Let me get Robert Hone in there for another five entries into the uh, January drawing. Um, I appreciate that, Robert, but I know you're a retiree like me, so just 
watch your finances there, okay? I don't want you to get in trouble by your wife either. I do not want you to get in trouble by your wife. <laughs> um, but there you go. I got you in there, Robert, for five entries. But he said in his super chat, Furnace Fund, I dare you guys to contribute to this fund. <laughs> All right. So on Sunday, you're going to be 2 p.m. start time, Redbeard. On Sunday, you're doing your next sale. Is that what it is? I'm doing an auction. We have some Donald... Do, don't oh donated blaster boxes to auction off for Michael J. Fox Foundation and the name of Bibby. In the name of Bibby. Also, 30% of my personal auction is getting donated to uh what uh oh 2 p.m. start time. And that is when's the sale? Did I miss that? For Hollis Redbeard, Redbeard. That's going to be this coming Sunday, right, Redbeard? 2 p.m. start time. Is that e Eastern Coast time? Uh, the Bibster. Oh, <laughs> that was good. The Bibster of all things wax packed. <laughs> Thank you, Bibby. He didn't have to do that. Oh, my word. Um. Don't feel bad. I haven't even told my wife yet. She said, how'd it go? And I said, oh, they, yeah, they cleaned the furnace. Everything's okay for now. I did not even mention it to my wife yet. That's for another, another, uh, I don't know how you, <laughs> what I'm going to say to her. She'll say, really? We got to buy a new furnace? I'm like, well, it's working for now. We're okay. It'll get us through the end of the winter, I think. <laughs> I hope. I hope. It's off to work. I go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I hope, I hope, I surely have bills to pay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just being oh so silly. Oh my word, <laughs> I did that wrong. Uh, let me get Bibster in here. Oops. I just uh. And then uh, let me get three more entries here to make his five entries. Okay. So I've got you in here, Bibby. Appreciate that. Oh, I can see it on my computer. It's, I like that icon for your channel there. The Bibster of all things wax packed. And that is an awesome channel photo. All right, so let me get back in here really quick. Uh, challenge the next person to continue the furnace fund. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, appreciate that. Um, so let's see. I haven't got nothing yet. So we might, probably if it's going to be okay with you, Bibby. Um, well, let's see. I got another package coming next Wednesday might be some of the things I ordered on eBay, but we'll have to wait and find that out. Um, let's see. So it does say that today I've got a few items coming in. Um, it says arrival. <laughs> I like that. It says arrival by 9 p.m. on Friday. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they were saying earlier before, so... That tells me, because my regular carrier is not off, they're running behind. So I'm thinking we might not get your package before. Uh, too late. She was standing here, and she said she was coming for you. She's from Texas, so better start running now. <laughs> uh, Robert, don't, like I said, Robert, don't get yourself in trouble. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like... Me and Bibby and uh, Robert, we're all in the same boat. We're retirees trying to have fun in the channels. Uh, uh, the Bibster of all things wax-packed, Bibby. So I'm going to, this is, this is my contraption that I use when I'm doing my channel. In case you're wondering how I get my, and then see this way when I, I have my camera down here in front of me. I have my, my whole range. I can go, sometimes I bump into this, or sometimes I bump into this. That's why the, the camera kind of uh, 
it's it's really versatile i can bend this and i don't want to bend it right now because it's set up perfect and this here is set up perfect for when i mount it to the side of my table uh <laughs> too late that ouch that hurt oh my did she she didn't punch you in the eye did she <laughs> but i'm just gonna get this ready um so i can change it we're gonna go ahead and open up this retail box and by the way just so you have a sneak peek on what's going to take place here outside of my personal pc items that i pull out of here everything else that's pulled out as far as like the insert cards and things like that will most likely be up in um the the stream here so what i'll do real quick here is i'm gonna i'm gonna take off my uh my phone here from my little tripod my my daughter gave me for christmas and I'm going to move it and mount the phone up here so you'll see the tripod that I'm using here now. <laughs> oh, my word. Big raise. A GoFundMe might help this good man to get that furnace. Let's see what we can do, can all do for Don. These super chats will help too. Challenge sent out. Big raise, ball cards, and auctions. Says he'd like to set up a YouTube or a GoFundMe. <laughs> that would be awesome that would be awesome but what the lord will provide let me put it that way um let me uh get big ray auctions up here for uh his 4.99 there's five bell dingers for for big ray here okay for Big Ray, let me get him into the Wheel of Names. I think you got entries in the other day, didn't you, Big Ray? Oh, no. i got to go back quite a bit here. Let me get you in here. Let me get your five entries. There we go. Thank you there, Big Rays, Ball Cards, and Auctions. Appreciate that that super chat there. Really do appreciate that super chat. Let me get this saved. Man, we're going to have my most names ever in my January giveaway for sure. I'm going to have to come up with something special for this first of the new year giveaway for sure. There will be a Project 2020 card that will be the main prize. and I will show that as we move down later it's not a big big prize but depending on who wins I, I'll, I'll probably have another bonus item for sure to go with that and it just depends on what we get in as much love that i'll give back to the winner for the month that's for sure so let me uh save this really quick get back to the stream i'm gonna move the phone and we're gonna get ready to open up this retail box here um big thanks ray sounds good big ray the lord can use heathen to get you a new furnace <laughs> oh my word uh uh oh yeah bibby matched all mine yesterday and today should have quite a few entries <laughs> donald i hope you realize you're a great person um all, all i do is i like to have fun on the channel and i like to be able to share things out so that's that's why i like to do what i'm doing it's not all about me it's all about our card and unity everybody put that in your head it's all about our com card and unity it's not just about ourselves it's about what we do in our card and unity that reaches out and touches everybody that we come across okay if we put this is just me personally, because I, 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 I'm a saved person. I believe in the Lord, and I've accepted Him as my personal Savior. I hope you will, too, uh, as far as with my other content that I create on the channel. But you know what? Your walk with God is up to nobody except for yourself. Okay? And I'll leave it at that. It's up to you to accept the Lord as your personal Savior. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> the Bipster of all things wax pack. That Robert Heathens blessed our church with a new baby grand piano from a piano bar owner. That is cool. Honesty, 
Honestly, I was attracted to your channel for the name. The content, the card content was just a bonus. <laughs> there you go, big rays, ball cards, and auctions. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right. So, um, and yes, I do pray for people. I'm praying for big rays, ball cards, and auctions with his health condition. Bibby with his. Uh, so, when people have needs, we need to pray for each other. Okay. So I'm going to make the shift. I'm going to move the phone from here up to here. And then we'll get into the, the question mark, question mark, question mark, part two, going through this retail box. So bear with me as I switch tripods here. I'll leave that tripod there so you can see which one I'm using. You'll see my big smiley face here as I plug into my other uh, device here. And turn this down. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. You'll see where the tripod was sitting. If I remember, it should be right there. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is the tripod I was just using. Okay, I'm going to move this and set this aside for now. It kind of folds up like that. It's a nice handy little thing. You can do, you can hold it like this if you're like walking around on a live stream or stuff. So it is nice and versatile. These legs just flip out, one, two, or three of them to hold on. And then you just kind of uh, seat your camera right in this here. If you're looking for a, a, a nice little handy tripod. Um, da, 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 da. Where'd I put that paper for this one? Um, in case you're wondering which one this is here, this is the tripod that my daughter gave me. You see, it shows them holding it in their hand, like kind of like selfie wise it does twist you push this button here to kind of kind of change the angle around or how you want it positioned and you let go and it locks it in place so it does not move okay so i kind of had that there in case i needed to make adjustments in the front here this here kind of expands so that you can seat your phone in here but that's a nice little uh youtube device also i could probably use that on the stream here i might try it we'll end up seeing but then if i put it down here then i'm blocking my keyboard for for typing in the chat so that's why i kind of got the other device but it's nice to have multiple devices that you can use but this one is by manfrotto imagine more so that's kind of what it looks like when your phone's on it in case you're wondering and this is here i'll put these barcodes on here that one's kind of Europe, but this is the U.S. and Canada barcode. If you do a screenshot, you can uh, actually use that barcode to look up where you can buy, buy this one. How to, Donald's new series, how to, do, how, how to Do YouTube for Beginners. <laughs> oh, trust me, they're going to be... I, I can't remember when the new changes they made to YouTube do take effect, but... Uh, I know they are going to be updating things, so it's going to be harder and harder to try to get monetized, just so you do know. So I'm going to put this away right now. I'm going to uh, set these Avril cards aside and put them away when we do finish up here. So tomorrow we will be doing episode number eight, card sorting, searching for the gems. But for today, let me get my other ones out here because I'm sure we'll find some some insert cards that we can separate out here as we go through this retail box okay so i'm going to get these kind of lined up here let me get that one there and that one there this one here and this one here i just like kind of like to get a few stands set up to go through some cards and hopefully you guys enjoy this we'll keep going we might go for Three hours, one o'clock, whatever. Um, I don't have nothing else to do. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Georgia student who walks seven miles to work each day receives a new card through a woman's heartwarming. I get all these alerts on my phone. I like to read them sometimes. Um, but let's get ready to open up this box here. Actually, let me scoot this over a little bit where I can keep it on the screen and just have more room for for the box up here. 
Let me do that like that. That way we can set the box on screen here so we can see it. Um, let's see. I want to go there. And probably there. And probably there. Oops. I'm trying to space them so that I have space to put the cards. And put our better hits right up here in front. And that way we can have the box right here. So other than that... Let me get my knife out. We're going to bust open up this box. I was going to save it for something else, but for lack of content for today, I'm going to bust it open now. This is my last 2020 product I have, except for some few packs that I have in my pack box for my Patreon members. If you do want to become a Patreon member, that is fine. I would, I'm going to kind of gravitate to possibly doing uh, somewhat of a format, but not exactly for those that might be familiar with Gourmet Breaks. I might do a PAX with friends. Um, Robert Hone, I am a parky, expo a parky exposed to Agent Orange during my tour in Vietnam. Sorry about the cancer. Put you on our vet's prayer list. Uh, oh, there we go. Shoney Jump Guy should get a Jim Bowie knife. <laughs> oh, I have lots of knives. This was given to me by a channel member when he came out to visit me in Leavenworth. And it, it does have my name on it. And all I need is a small knife. As a backup plan, the same person that gave me this knife gave me these baseball scissors that I use on occasions too. But thanks for Kevin's card collecting and more for giving me that one. I just hang it there. This <clears throat> also this baseball keychain was given to me by Left Behind. By Left Behind, so I attached it to the knife. And it's up here. I got Ichiro up there watching. I got a Seattle Mariners baseball, a Randy Johnson baseball. I got a King Griffey Jr. signed baseball. I just have all kinds of fun stuff that we can share on the channel down the road. But today, right now, we're gonna go through this update box, see what kind of inserts. And short print type cards we might find in here. You never know. Maybe I'll find another Mike Trout short print card. Try and get some money that way. Um, uh, Big Ray's cards and auctions. Thank you at Robert Hone. I will do the same for you. Prayers from me and church prayer team. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and open this real quick here. This retail box. See what we can find in here. Uh, these they really pack these boxes that's for sure that's why uh, you can't really put it in I, I like I like to put these in here uh, as we progress through the box maybe we can get through here but it I can imagine the people in the stores might, oh there we go there we go set it up like it it's in the in in the store there we go I never had a card shop, but Bibby did. I'm sure sometimes you had fun opening up these boxes to display them. So without further ado, let me get a drip, uh, a drip, a drink of water real quicker from my my water container, and let's get into this retail box of 2020 baseball update. What I will be doing is I'll see if I can get another complete set of baseball cards out of this update. I think so far in my first three boxes and some other miscellaneous updates that I got through other people, through different purchases, I w I've been able to uh, complete three sets. So maybe with this and the leftover uh, update cards I have here, maybe we'll see if we can complete set number four. Uh, I know Kevin got one of the sets, and I believe, I believe it was FJ. Oh, hold on a second. I just got a message from, hold on a second. I got a message from my sister. I just want to read it real quick.
Okay, I'll, I'll relay the update that I got from my family just so you know what's going on with my mom in the hospital back in New Jersey. Uh, my sister Debbie says, Hi Donald, not a lot of new news yet. Mom is on the highest setting on the Vapotherm. So that's about as high as they can go to try and uh, uh, keep her there. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know my mom's name's Mimi, huh? <laughs> that's neat there, Big Ray. Um, <laughs> how'd you know my mom's name's Mimi? Just kind of curious. That that was that was something when I saw that chat come in. Thanks, there, Big Ray. Uh, praying for good news from his sister for Mimi. I can't remember if I ever said that much. Oh, you watched my videos. <laughs> Thank you there, Big Ray. Hey, at least I know you're watching my content. Hi, Donald. Not a lot of news yet. Mom is on the highest setting on the Vapotherm. Bibby knows what I'm talking about. I sent them a, a link on this new uh, new treatment they're trying for go COVID patients. They had her sitting up in a chair for two hours, cleaned Mom up, and put her back in bed when they when they move her. It's hard on her breathing, so they also had to put a mask on her until her oxygen levels get higher. Lisa is waiting on a call from the doctor. I'll be in touch. And so I just responded back real quick. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. All right, so I will be keeping an eye on my chat and my messages on my other phone, just so you know, in the back of your mind. So without further ado, I appreciate that. Um... Uh, and then Bibster, of all things Wax Pack, Mimi, you mentioned yesterday. Oh, did I mention my mom's name? I, I know her her real name is uh, Miriam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I think I remember. Yeah. Uh, I think she's got her Facebook page is Mimi. Mimi McCann. Um I forgot all about that. <laughs> uh, Bibster giving away my secrets. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so without further ado, I got an empty trash can here for the packs. We're going to go through these 16-card packs in this last box of 2020 update that I do have. And we will go through here. It says 16 cards, packs with a special insert card may contain only 9 to 14 cards. I won't be, this won't be like a, uh, like a, a, a Jabs family speed rip. I do like sharing the cards, but I won't spend too much time on the base cards. And I'll put all the different hits and the, uh, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> all the hits and, uh, subset cards. And any short prints are serialized when I see them. And just so you do know, sometimes if I... Because in the update series here, there are a lot of cards that look like they could be short prints. That uh, might not be. There's a security tag. Throw that away. Get that out of the way. But boom, right off the bat, we got a Seattle Mariner for a bell ring there. Donald, do you have a list of cards you need to finish up set four? Um... I, I'll know for sure after this one there, Kevin. After I finish this one and sort these cards, I'll see how close I am to a set four. Um, and then I'll let anybody know if I'm... <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a, a cloudy day, but a fairly nice day after a bad windstorm from earlier in the week. We did have some winds kick up last night, but yeah, it's nice when I hear the airplanes flying too. Because that way I know the weather's doing better here. But there we go, Kendall Gravely with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Uh, Chris Bryant with an All-Star Game card. Uh, Jake Newberry with the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> A $2 super chat for... Uh, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions. This entry is for Bibster's new name. Entry for what? So do you want me to use your name or Bib Bibby's Bibster's new name for the for the giveaway entries there, Big Ray? Give the entries to B <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Let me go back into the Wheel of Names here. Get to... <laughs> Thanks there, Big Al. That was very generous of you. Uh... 
the bibster of all things wax packed just got two new entries into the giveaway for january all right appreciate that uh big ray big rays uh ball cards and auctions appreciate that very much i'm sure bibby's kind of thankful for that now I have 61 subscribers. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully they subscribed the right way after the lesson. Uh, go Bibby. So close to 100 subs. That's right. 39 more to go. Oh, yeah. Also, I want to shout out Boomslang. Boomslang's still trying to get to his 1,000 subs because he's got a huge giveaway that he's doing for, uh, for uh, his channel when he reaches 1,000 subscribers. So let me get this entry saved, and we'll get back into the content at hand here. Um, all right. So let's get back here. All right. Uh, I uh, thought that that go Bibby so close. There we go. Let me get that one and this one all up to date in the chat. Okay. So we've got uh, Jeff Hoffman with the Rockies, uh, Garrett Richards with the San Diego Padres. Then we've got, uh, wait, Donald, what day is your one-year monetization on YouTube? It will be Tuesday the 19th. Tuesday the 19th, and we should be doing uh, Jim Edmonds' uh Jim Edmonds' uh, biography that day, so it might not be a very big biography. Um, um, next, we've got Asher Wolschachowski with the Orioles. Then we've got uh, Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw with the Blue Jays. Sorry, let me get down here where you can see it on the camera better. Uh, Steve Wilkerson with the Orioles. Uh Chase Anderson with the Toronto Blue Jays. Boom, there we go. We got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with the 2000s Decades Best card. Let me see. I can't remember what we get more of out of these inserts. Um, Thurman Munson with the New York, with the New York uh, Yankees. Then we've got a uh, Julius Chaikin with the Minnesota Twins. Then we've got a Mark McGuire with the St. Louis Cardinals. I threw away my cheat sheet, too, to find out what, what the number is for the short prints. But I believe 588 is a base for McGuire there. Luis Severino with the New York Yankees. Uh, Jose Martinez with the Tampa Bay Rays. And Josh Harrison with the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, thank you there, FJ. Is that Boom Slang's link? Appreciate you putting that in the link there. If you can, if you're not subscribed to Boom Slang, make sure you go ahead and do that. Hop on board him for um, uh, Tuesday, the nineteenth, for the one year anniversary. Yeah, it'll be a one year anniversary celebration for my YouTube channel, and I will show you my back office and show you how much money. Um, and I'll explain the whole process when we do get to that next Tuesday, okay? Just so you do know, I took that out of order. I should have took that one first and go there. But uh, I usually go left to right, left to right, left to right. I did it backwards. I broke my own rules. But thank you there, FJ, for putting that link in there. If anybody does find Bibby's new channel, if you can, uh, put Bibby's link in there too so we can try and get him to his... 100 subscribers, so he'll start doing his live streams. That would be awesome. We got Kyle Gibson with the Texas Rangers. They still were putting the inaugural season stamp on there. That's pretty cool. Um, Robinson Chirinos with the Rangers. Uh, Drew Botera with the Rockies. Uh, Antonio uh, Senzatella with the Rockies. Then we've got a uh, Josh Taylor with the Red Sox rookie card. We've got Robert Stevenson with the Cincinnati Reds. We've got uh, Sean Poppin with the Minnesota Twins. 
rookie card. We got Michael Fulmer with the Tigers. There we go, the Bo Bichette rookie debut card for the Toronto Blue Jays. All right. Then we've got the Bryce Harper. Where's Dearman when you need him? <laughs> A Bryce Harper, 1985, 35th anniversary card. We got the Bo Bichette rookie card for the Turkey Red card here. Nice inserts there. And then we've got the Logan Forsyth with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Thomas Nito with the New York Mets. And a Tommy Pham with the San Diego Padres. Okay, I had an alert, but nothing important. Miguel Cabrera with the Detroit Tigers. And... Uh, Melbris Veloria with the Kansas City Royals. All right, rounds out pack number two. Moving into pack number three. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember how many packs in here again. 24 packs. We could be here a little while, <laughs> but that's okay. This is fun. Yes, trying to find the Bibby Link. The elusive Bibby Link. The Bibster of all things wax packed. Maybe it is. Maybe it doesn't have it fully registered. Have you? It's kind of hard to ask Bibby right now. I know he's on his phone. But have you checked to make sure you finished everything with your uh, channel name? Well, yeah, <laughs> duh. It has to be because it shows you up here as... Oh, we, we found the Bibby link. We found the Bibby link. All right, let me do, let me do something real quick. I just want to check. Just to make sure, I am pretty sure, but I want to verify it. So let me go back. Let me click on that Bibby, Bibby link real quickly here. Oh, good. It opened a new tab. The Bibster of all things wax packed. All right. So if, if I click on videos, it should show you have no content yet. Um, it says this channel has no videos which is fine. And I do see that Bibby has, you have a whole bunch of playlists, which is fine. I, I like the way you got your playlist laid out. You can go in there and you can just turn on some music and watch and, and listen to some music videos on your channel. I do like that. I've done that sometimes myself. And it does show I am subscribed and got the bell notifications on for Bibby. Uh, one, 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 Quick thought on that one, just because I didn't go over this too. For somebody that does not create content, you don't have to worry about them taking the subscription away until, until somebody cr starts creating content on their channel. Once they, oh, there we go. Kevin's card collecting and more says he has 62 now. Uh, Bibster isn't Bibby your twin. <laughs> isn't Bibby your twin? <laughs> um, so yeah. And then if you go to his about me tab, uh, pronounced as it reads, <laughs> um, let's see anything in his discussion, nothing there. Maybe I'll surprise him one day. Uh, it does show he, he does have public subscriptions so you can look in there and see if he's subscribed to your channel. And I do see mine there. It says I have 1.13 subscribers. I like that. He's also subscribed to Zach Campbell, like I am, 499,000 subscribers. So uh, Zach Campbell is getting close to half a, half a million subscribers. That's pretty cool. Left Behind's getting pretty close there. He's got 890 subscribers. Left Behind Times only needs another 10. Sorry I got sidetracked there, but thanks for that link there, uh, FJ, for finding Bibby's channel. All right. Let me do the live chat here real quick and update the chat so I know where he's, where I'm at. And we will get into this, finish, finishing off this pack number three. So uh, Chris Owings with the Rockies. Uh, Richie Martin with the Orioles. Uh, Philip Deal with the Colorado Rockies rookie card. Uh, Scott Barlow with the Royals. 
Uh, Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire with the Athletics. Uh, home run derby card. Uh, Jesus Aguilar with the Marlins. Uh, Alex Bregman with the Astros. Um, Kyle Higashioka with the Yankees. Uh, Robinson Cano, home run derby card. Uh oh, we got a uh, we got a short print card here, one thousand three hundred fifty four out of two twenty, and that is a um, Brock Holt with the Milwaukee Brewers gold card. So put the gold card there for now. We've got a turkey red here, a turkey red for uh, is that you? Uh, Shogo Ayakiyama, Akiyama with the Cincinnati Reds, uh, Turkey Red card. Um, Ronald Acuna Jr. with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Aaron Bummer with the White Sox. Uh, Joel Kunkel or Kunel with the Reds, rookie card. Uh, Steven Souza Jr. with the Cubs. And Yoshi. Setsugo with the Tampa Bay Rays. Okay, yeah, I give they gave me an update on now it's not gonna be here till maybe twelve forty five or three to three forty five on my update for my packages. Let's get into pack number four here. Bobcat is perfect. <laughs> Bobcat for Bibby. <laughs> okay. So let's move in here. Now we've got... Oh, there. That's the Mike Trout, but that's not the short print. And that's not the U4. That's U119. All right. And then uh, Buck Farmer with the Tigers. Buck Farmer with the Tigers. Uh, Jose Suarez with the Angels. Uh, Chris Sale with the Red Sox All-Star Game. Um, Adam Engel with the White Sox. Uh, Eric Mejia with the Royals Rookie Card. Ooh, we got a shiny, looks like a shiny turkey red chrome card coming up. Uh, Alex Blandino with the Reds. Uh, Mike King with the Yankees Rookie Card. Dustin Garneau with the uh, Astros. Boom, Carter Keyboom with the Washington Nationals. Uh, Tops Chrome card. Red, red chrome. All right, and then we will put in the, the Wade Boggs with the Boston Red Sox. Turkey red card. All right, Jorge Lopez with the Royals. Um, Cameron Mabin with the Tigers. Um, we got Randy Arozarena. With the Tampa Bay Rays. Then we've got Sandy Leon with the Cleveland Indians and uh, Devi Grillen with the Phillies rookie card. Okay, I'm out. Take care. All right, there, Kevin. Thanks for stopping by. You're going to be live this afternoon, right? Before you do take off, you're going to be live this afternoon at uh, 3 o'clock, hopefully, or uh, Sky Bolt. Uh, da, 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 big rays auctions. Did I miss something? Bobcat's cat. What about Bobcat? <laughs> All right. So let me refresh the chat real quick now that I've caught back up in the chat. But yeah, don't forget Kevin should be live this afternoon with his Fairfield Friday. So hopefully he is going live still. Let's get into pack number five. Uh, Walker Bueller's got more rings than. Uh, uh, fish trout fun fact <laughs> that's an interesting one. Oh, there we go we got a nice security tag here that's funny we haven't got no Ken Griffey Jr. or Cal Ripken Jr.'s yet there's another trout and Upton card coming up at the end here uh, Zach Greinke with the Astros active leaders Cal uh, Farmer with the Reds uh Jarrell Cotton with the Cubs. Uh, Brock Holt with the Brewers. Uh, Bartolo Colon, free agent. 
I guess they're saying he's a free agent. Don't know if he's going to be playing with somebody in 2021 or not yet. Um, uh, JT Riddle with the Pirates. Uh, Zach Greinke with the Astros. Uh, Sky Bolt with the Oakland A's. Um, Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. New York Yankees decades best. Uh, 2000s team card. Uh, who's that? Is that uh, Mark Grace, turkey red card? Um, Kevin Pillar with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, jo Joe Jimenez with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Trace Thompson with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Lance Thomas with the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, let's see. Faith, family, and sports is in the house. Uh, looks like we made it. What are we doing? Oh, I'm I'm opening up a, a 2020 Tops Update retail box that I still had left. Was thinking about saving it, but got encouraged to open it by one of the channel members here. Um, so, laugh out loud, hard to compare is better when one plays outfield and the other is a pitcher. <laughs> there we go. Freeway victory for... Uh, uh, biggest stars enjoy a victory. The Angels, and that uh, that's a Mike Trout and uh, Justin Upton there. So cool there. Pack number six coming up. Hello there, Faith Family and Sports from uh, the Bibster of all things Wax Pack. In case you're wondering, there, uh, Faith, that's uh, Bibby Bobka's new channel name. In case you're wondering who that new person, new channel member is in my channel, that's Bibby Bobka. He be he changed his channel name in anticipation of when he gets his 100 subscribers. He's gonna do start doing live streams. So jump on six Nationals celebrate six five walk off win. All right, uh, Jason uh, Kipnis with the Cubs. Uh, Justin Verlander with the Astros. Uh, Bryce Harper. With the Washington Nationals All-Star Game. Jordan Alvarez with the Rookie Card Debut. Gold Cup and Rookie Card Emblem. That's a triple on that one. Rookie Debut, of course. Uh, Gold Cup and Rookie Card for Jordan Alvarez. Jose Altuve with the Astros All-Star Game. Uh, Alex Avila with the Twins. Aaron Judge with the Yankees Home Run Derby for 2017. Jordan Montgomery with the New York Yankees. There we got a Shohei Otani with the 85 throwback there. That's a pretty neat one. like that Shohei Otani. Mike Musina with the Baltimore Orioles. I'll just put them behind, leave the, comp, the chrome card in front. Uh, Alec Mills with the Chicago Cubs. Um, Ian Miller with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. Uh, Ryan Weber with the Boston Red Sox. Starlin Castro with the Washington Nationals. And Kevin Palawecki with the Red Sox. What's the the dog barking on. Hold give me a give me a second here. I hope he's not stuck in the fence. Okay, now I think everything's fine with him out there. I don't have no dog. This is just a neighbor dog sometimes tries to, to crawl under the fence. There's a little gap and sometimes he gets stuck. I don't want him to be stuck there. Um, sorry about that interruption there. So let's move into pack number seven here. Drought is the top three, but not first in my book. <laughs> All right. So we got Domingo Santana with the Indians. Uh, Sam Travis with the Texas Rangers. All right. Uh, Bryce Harper 
with the Nationals. Home Run Derby from 2018. Matt Davidson with the Reds. Um, Jairo Diaz with the Rockies. Um, Mike Moustakas with the Reds. Uh, Devin Williams with the Brewers rookie card. Edwin Encarnacion with the White Sox. Uh, Cy Sneed with the Astros rookie card. Uh, Jed Yor Jorko with the Brewers. Oh, there we go. That's a nice little throwback card there. That's a short print. One. Oh, that's an awesome one, too. Gold numbered on the back. One out of 99. One out of 99. For that throwback tops card, that is an awesome one for sure. Let me get that penny sleeved and top loaded so it'll be a reminder for me on that one. Otherwise, I sometimes mix them in with just the regular cards. I don't want to do that. Devin Williams won Rookie of the Year. Sleeve it. Oh, I'll go back and I I'll go back and sleeve those when I get to them. That's for sure. But let me get this in a top loader so I know that's a short print. It'll jump out at me that way. And I'll put this one in front of the Brock Bolt for now for the uh, Jed Giorgo Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, the Bibster of All Things Wax Packed. New Furnace Fund was started for Donald's Super Chat Challenge. Leave a Super Chat and challenge someone to match it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Bibby. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, but that's okay. Um, let's see. We got a rookie card for, it looks like, uh, Kwang Hyung Kim with the St. Louis Cardinals. So that'll go in the turkey red stack here. See if I can complete the turkey red stack. Not really trying to, but we'll see how close we get. Um, David Price with the Dodgers. Uh-oh. Looks like it's mail call soon. <laughs> uh, Greg Garcia with the San Diego Padres. Um, Mike Trout, active leaders card. That's a 243. That's not the one that the, the short print's available on, but that's cool. Cool Mike Trout. Uh, Austin Pruitt with the Houston Astros. And, ooh, another Mike Trout. There, that this is the one that uh, I got the short print on, but this one is not the short print. This is the base card, which the base cards are 588. But that was the, the, the card number for the short print card that I got. Okay? So if you guys will allow me to do a, a commercial break timeout, I did get, uh, the mail was just delivered, so not too bad. It's 1230. I'm going to take a, a be right back break, okay? Let me put it in the chat here in case, and you guys can keep an eye on the chat for me while I go down and check the mail. All right, so <laughs> before I do that, I got a, I got a, a super chat. Bibby sent me a cat. <laughs> I don't have a cat, but uh, we used to years and years and years ago. We had a, a white short hair. Uh, but let me get uh, Bibby two more entries into my wheel of names. Uh, Two more entries into my wheel of names for that dollar forty nine super emoji <laughs> that he sent me, and then I'll go down and check my my mail. I think I got a couple things in the mail today, so let me go down real quick. Keep an eye on the chat if you can for me, Bibby. I will be right back. Okay, so bear with me momentarily, and I will be right back. Let me go check my mail.
Okay. I'm almost back. I gotta organize something real quick here. See what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> oh my lord. So yes, I am back upstairs. Let me make some adjustments here in the background of my channel. Um, let me set that over there for now. My word. Bibby, 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 bibby. <laughs> my word. My word, bibby, bibby, bibby. <laughs> Not even gonna comment, Bibster. <laughs> okay so uh let's see well that's pretty good it said expected delivery day january the 15th and guess what today is january the 15th so uh here i'm gonna just turn the camera around real quick so you guys can see i'm here in case you're wondering i'm here uh, the, the the bibster of all things wax packed. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Let me. I, I gotta cover something up here real quick. Let me cover something up real quick before I do a a reveal here. Uh, let me uh, cover up that right there. Oops, and I gotta do another spot right here. Um, And I gotta cover up another spot right here. Don't want to reveal stuff that. Uh... That should not be necessarily maybe shared. Here. Uh... There we go. Sorry, I have to. I have to protect the rights of the individual. But yes. I did get a box from from Bibby and as you can see it's not a small box it's what they call a what size is this box anyway usually it says somewhere but he's got too much tape on here I can't read is this considered a medium box or a large box I'm trying to remember Bibby <laughs> But it's a big box. You can see me standing here holding it. It's a big box. Yeah. What's it? Oh yeah. It probably says that that somewhere on the labels here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a nice little heavy box here. <laughs> this is a heavy box. So I'm gonna have to await instructions for Bibby on how he wants me to do this. If you want me to open part of this in today's stream, or or uh, I don't mind doing it at the end. If we finish the retail box, then I can go in and open the box and do part one. If you want me to, I'll leave that. Bibby's given me some instruction on what was coming in the box. And so, uh, uh, one flat item today. Okay, do you want me to wait, and, wait until I finish the, the, the retail box here? Open up the rest of the retail box, and then we'll open up the one flight, one, and I'll change the title to uh, my YouTube rant. And then, uh, okay, so I can finish up the retail box and then do the first item out of this part. A little 18-pound bundle of joy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little bit of a... <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bibby. You're definitely going to fill me up with content for the next... For, for This will move me into, into February, that's for sure. Uh, sometime in February. <laughs> but thank you, Bibby. I got all my mail. Put put everything in, the, in order. I got to go through my letter mail. 
later when the stream is done. But we'll go into the next pack here. And we will see what we find out of this retail box. And then we'll open up part one of... Do it. It's going to uh, interfere with my my iMac computer and turn that off too. So uh, I silenced my incoming call for now. I'll talk to him later. Uh, Big Ray, no, I'm not from California. <laughs> I'll just leave it at Bibby's. Bibby's from the East Coast. For now, I'll leave it up to Bibby to say what he wants to say about his where he's located. But I will just say he's an East Coaster, and I'm a West Coaster. And we're almost opposite corners of the United States. I'll just leave it at that. That leaves it open to a couple states on the East Coast. Uh, Kenny Jansen with the Dodgers, active leaders. Then we've got a Zach Green with the San Francisco Giants, rookie card. Um, boom, we finally got a Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> My first PC player that I pulled here. My first PC player, a Ken Griffey Jr. With an update card. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me put my Ken Griffey Jr. right there for now. Looks like we got another Topps Chrome or a rainbow type card coming up here. Josh Fuentes with the Rockies. Uh, I think it might be a rainbow card by the looks of it. Pete Alonzo, Home Run Derby for 2019. Uh, I live in the Crossroads State. Where, uh, where, where did you find this box? Oh, this box here? Oh, I've had this for months, ever since the update came out. I was going to save it for something else, but my my uh, my channel advisor in, uh, enticed me to open it now. So I'm opening it now. <laughs> um, Neil Walker with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, I thought that was a... Oh, I see. I thought I missed a... Another hit, maybe. Not a hit. Craig Kimbrell with the Cubs. Um, Jordy Mercer with the Tigers. Boom. Sam Haggerty with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a rainbow foil card. Mike Mustakas. Mike Mustakas with the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Put him back here. And then, uh, who's this? Lewis Brinson with the Miami Marlins, Turkey Red card. Uh, Ty France with the San Diego Padres. Starling Marte with the D-backs. Um, Andrew Suarez with the Giants. Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers. And Julio Terran with the Angels. <clears throat> All right, big raise, ball cards, and auction. Uh, the greatest spectacle in racing. Is that the Indianapolis 500? <laughs> Is that the Indianapolis 500 there? Big Ray ball cards and auctions? Okay. So when we open that up, I'm assuming if I open the top of the box when I do, ding, ding, ding. I must have got it right. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> when you said the greatest spectacle in racing, I figured it had to be the Indianapolis, Indiana 500, Indianapolis race. I do know a little bit about NASCAR, but not a whole lot. <laughs> that is the big race in NASCAR, that's for sure, the Indianapolis 500. <clears throat> Awesomeness there. Big race. Are you a are you a race fan also there, Big Race? Just kind of curious. All right, I continue on here. Getting pretty close. When I get up to about here, I know we're about close to the halfway mark here on the box. 
We've got uh, MLB All-Star Rivals, Torres and Betts, celebrate a victory. Tuki Toussaint with the Braves. Wow. I got the notification once. Now I just got another notification. Hope you didn't deliver another package. I think I got them all. Let's see. Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice when you get a secondary notification of the sec same package. The battery bath. Uh, Martin receives a cold bath from Bueller. Then we got a uh, Jalen Beeks with the Tampa Bay Rays. Then we've got a Jose Peraza with the Boston Red Sox. Daniel Hudson with the Nationals. Cole Calhoun with the D-backs. T. Juan Walker with the Seattle Mariners. I think he's already on the way to somebody else now. I don't know why they took him back, but they traded him already. Moose. <laughs> All right, then we got Joey Votto with the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, not the NASCAR 500. It's only 400. The real Indy 500 in IndyCar. <laughs> Jordan Alvarez rookie card in the 85 throwback. Then we got the Dave Winfield, San Diego Padres, Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. All right, uh, Margiris Sierra with the Marlins, uh, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers, uh, Josh Lindblom with the Brewers, uh, Pedro Martinez with the Bodre, uh, Boston Red Sox, Hall of Famer, um, Yusmiro Pettit with the Oakland Athletics. Okay. The Sandlot. Uh-oh, I hear, I feel a, a little security tag in this one. A little security tag back in here. Comes in every so many packs, so people don't walk out the door if they have the security enhancement in their, in their store. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Let me go through this next pack here. I think this is pretty close to about the halfway mark. We'll probably go a few more. We'll get up to the edge here, and then I'll move and start a new stack. Uh, Max Scherzer with the Nationals, active leaders. Uh, Jordan Lyles with the Rangers. Cliver Torres with the Yankees, all-star card. Uh, Mookie Betts with the Red Sox, all-star card. Nestor Cortez with the Seattle Mariners. I haven't been hollering out the Seattle Mariners in quite some time. But Nestor Cortez with the Seattle Mariners rookie card. Uh, Jose Iglesias with the Orioles. Uh, Jonathan Villar with the Marlins. Anthony Rendon with the Angels. Uh, Ferran. Chi Cordero with the Padres. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon with the uh, Decades Best 2010s card. The Tyler Wood, Kerry Wood. Kerry Wood with the Chicago Whites, uh, Chicago Cubs. Sorry, not the White Sox. Um, Drew Pomeranz with the San Diego Padres. Every time I see this one, I think, oh, is that a short print? But it's not. It would have been backwards anyway. It's just a base card. Just It, it looks sharp enough to be a short print. Maybe it's just the photography. But very interesting. Guy Giancarlo Stanton with the Yankees. Then we've got uh, Chris Devensky with the Astros. We've got Aristides Aquino rookie debut card on August the 18th, 2018. And then uh, Terrence Gore with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Okay, moving on in the box. Uh, you lollygag to first. You lollygag to second. You know what that makes you? 
<laughs> I'm sure Bibby's going to enlighten us. That that means I'd have to think and research in my memory banks what I'd want to say. <laughs> You throw like a girl, the Sandlot. <laughs> All right, so Ryan Howard, Phillies Home Run Derby for 2006. Uh, Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers All-Star Game. Derek Jeter, Hall of Famer with the All-Star Game. Um, Ichiro, Ichiro with the Seattle Mariners 2001 All-Star Game. Then we got uh, Jason Castro with the Angels. Then we got Zach Davies with the Padres. Albert Pujols with the Angels. Um, Adam Plutko with the Indians. Um, Donovan Solano, San Francisco Giants, Rainbow Fall card. And we got a first round draft pick here. Uh... Key Brian Hayes. I don't know if I've got this one in this set. Don't know if I'll be able to complete a set here, but this is P9 for the card number. Uh, let's see. I'll set the number one prospect right there. Is that Andy Pettit? Andy Pettit with the New York Yankees. Turkey red card. Uh, Chris Sale with the Red Sox. Uh, Kyle Crick with the Pirates. Uh, Albert Pujols with the Angels. Uh, Steve Chis Chisek with the White Sox. And Frank Swin Schwindel with the Tigers rookie card. All right. Go ahead and finish off this stack, and I'll move these out of the way and make room for the next stack. The rest of the box. Just a little outside. Bob Euchre. The bold Durham quote. Uh, you lollygag to first, you lollygag to second. You know what that makes you? A blanky blank lollygagger. <laughs> bold Durham quote. Big raise, ball cards, and auctions. Just a little outside, Bob Uecker. Uh Adeni Hechevaria with the Braves. Uh, Justin Verlander with the Astros. Todd Frazier with the Rangers. I like these shots. With, it makes the bat look bigger than it really is, the, the direction that they have it coming to the camera. Adolis Garcia with the Rangers. Logan Morrison with the Brewers. Edwin Encarnacion with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Wade LeBlanc with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Joe Panic with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Kyle Ryan with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Clark Schmidt, number one prospect for the Yankees from Trenton. wonder if that's Trenton, New Jersey. Is that where they play their games? Um, a CC Sabathia turkey red card for the New York Yankees. A David Ortiz with the Boston Red Sox All-Star Game card. A uh, Jed Gyorko with the Milwaukee Brewers. Felix Hernandez with the Seattle Mariners All-Star Game card from 2014, I think. Uh, Tyler Wade with the New York Yankees. And Yunus Cespeda with the Oakland Athletics 2014 Home Run Derby card. All right, let me get these base cards. I'll double check and make sure I don't have any short print hiding in there. Let me set that off to the side here really quick. I don't want to knock it over by accident. Here, I'm going to set them back over here. Hopefully when I move Bibby's box, I don't plow into them. <laughs> uh, build it and they will come. Field of dreams. There we go. Build it, and they will come. All right, getting into the last half of the box, presumably. Probably about 12 to 16 packs. I think that, I, I think that was about half the box we just finished. 
Uh, Tim LaCostro with the D-backs. Uh, Gavin Lux, rookie card, rookie debut card, September 2nd, 2019. Um, Albert Pujols with the Angels, active leader card. Zach Wheeler with the Phillies. Um, Tyler White with the Dodgers. Uh, Yadier Molina with the Cardinals, all-star game card. Uh, Kenta Maeda with the Twins. Todd Frazier, Cincinnati Reds, Home Run Derby card, 2015. Chris Iannetta with the New York Yankees. Ronald Acuna Jr. with the Atlanta Braves, 85 throwback. Uh, is this uh, Craig Biggio with the Houston Astros, Turkey Red card. Um, Donovan Solano with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Robinson Cano with the Mets, active leaders. Kirk Casilli with the Reds. Uh, Cody uh, Stashik with the Twins, rookie card. And Brandon Dixon with the Tigers. Just straighten that up, do a little bit of maintenance here, put it there. All right, as we continue through, what are we at here? Ooh, almost three hours now. Almost three hours. Coming up on three hours. We start at 10 o'clock. It's almost 1 o'clock Pacific time. So that means it's like 4 o'clock on the East Coast. Uh, Francisco Lindor with the Indians. All-Star game. Boom! Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. With the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> There we go. Two Ken Griffey Juniors. No Cal Ripken Juniors yet. I'm sure before the box is done, we'll pull at least one Cal Ripken Jr. out of here. I sure hope so. <laughs> uh, Cesar Hernandez with the Indians. Uh, shower time. Lindor Dosis Ramirez. Justin Verlander. Houston Astros All-Star Game. Uh, Tyler Hangman. San Francisco Giants. Rookie card. Uh, Austin Allen with the Athletics. Uh, Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers, active leaders. Uh, Rich Hill with the Twins. Boom, we got a Nolan Ryan subset card. Uh, a numbers game. That one's uh, end numbers game card number six. Put that one back here. Um, who do we got here? Ron Santos with the Cubs, turkey red card. Uh, Brian Johnson with the Red Sox. Eric Thames with the Nationals. Uh, Mitch Moreland with the Red Sox. Rowdy Talies with the Blue Jays. And Chris Martin with the Braves. Okay. Let's continue on in the box here. Looks like we have either, I think, five packs left after this. If I'm looking in the in the box in the right angle and situation here, I think we got five more packs after this one. So I think we did a little bit more than half the box for the first first half. Uh, Houston, we have liftoff. Astros power hitters celebrate. Alvarez and does it say on the back? And Bregman. Okay. Andrew McCutcheon with the Pirates All Star Game. Albert Pujols with the Cardinals All-Star Game. Grayson Grenier with the Tigers. Uh, uh, Miles Straw with the Astros. Nico Horner, rookie card, rookie debut card, September 9th, 2019. Um, Jerry Rodriguez, Jeffrey Rodriguez with the Indians. I smell a Walker Bueller lurking in the box. Dario Agrizal with the Tigers rookie card. Mitchell Hermosillo with the Angels. We got a Jordan Lewis with the Rangers inaugural season rainbow fall card. 
Um, then we've got a Gary Carter with the New York Mets. Turkey red card. We got a Brandon McKay with the Tampa Bay Rays. A rookie debut card. Alex Wood with the Dodgers. Christian Yelich with the Brewers. All-star game card. Of uh, Francisco Cervelli with the Miami Marlins. And Nolan Arenado with the Rockies. All-star card. Oops. Forgive me there, Ken Griffey Jr. I knocked you over. <laughs> I knocked over Ken Griffey. Here, let me put him right here. I'll put him right here. That way he'll kind of stay up that way. <laughs> I smell a Walker Bueller lurking in the box. You mean the big box? Just a high and inside to Griffey. <laughs> uh, Clayton Kershaw, active leaders card for the Dodgers. Uh, Buster Posey with the Giants all-star card. Um, then we've got a high 10. The two, uh, the two Mats celebrate. Matt Chapman and... Matt Olson. Guy Giancarlo Stanton, home run derby card for 2016 with Miami. Um, there we go. A Eric Davis, uh, 1989 home run derby. Joe Kelly with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs All-Star. Mike Montgomery with the Kansas City Royals. Uh... Cal Ripken Jr. 2001 All-Star Game. Let me get go see Cal. Cal Ripken Jr. into a top loader and a penny sleeve here. For a Cal Ripken Jr. Let me put go see Cal right here for now. I'll put can I fit you in here? Sandwich you between the stands. There, I think he'll stand up that way. Oop, sorry. There, I blew him down. I stood him up and blew him down. We got a Topps Chrome Derek Jeter Hall of Famer for the New York Yankees. Boom! That's an awesome hit there. I got the Lewis Robert Chicago White Sox rookie card there. Add to my Lewis Robert collection here. I'm not PCing him, but I'm going to do something special with him coming up here. Might be to a sale near you. Coming up, oh, January 30th. So look for this in the January 30th sale. Lewis Robert and some of his other cards. I'll leave it at that for now. Make sure the January 30th you come with a pocketbook. A pocketbook full of money. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, here, I'll put that as the top turkey red right now. The, the Lewis Robert. That Arizona rookie... A, 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 a rookie should be sleeved at minimum. <laughs> A Rosa Rainia was as we we pulled him earlier, right? I'll be going through. I I do that to all my rookie cards, especially the bigger ones. Uh, Hunter Renfro with the Tampa Bay Rays, Jared Walsh with the Angels, uh, Wilmer Flores with the Giants, Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers, active leader, and yes, Manny Grandal. Okay, let's see. Was he the Rosarina? He wasn't in here yet, was he? Rosarina. I don't mind taking a training timeout. Arenado. Man, my stomach's growling. It's saying you're over you're overdue for lunch. And I'm like, I know. Don't worry, I'll get you sooner or later. Was it 
was a Rosarina in the other stack. The big stack. Probably. I don't see the Rosarina in here. Brazier, Molina, Lloyd, Wheeler, Pujols, Lux, Lacostro. Uh, just saying. Gotcha. Is that what JS means? Just saying? <laughs> Let me look real quick. I don't mind pulling that out because I know a, Ros a Rosarina is kind of like Kyle Lewis. He was also uh, a rookie of the year, right? Rosarina, Verlander, Javarius, it's just that pull the holes. Aquino. Aquino didn't pan out as good as they thought he was going to. But that's not to say that Aquino's not good, that's for sure. Uh, you hit one earlier. Yeah, I, I I remember that. He told me back then I should have uh, sleeved it. Rosarina. That Tuki Toussaint. Where are you hiding, Rosarina? I know you were probably pretty early in the in the openings here. Okay. Let me take about. I'll find him real quick here. I don't mind taking a little bit of a break to keep him in good shape. No, we only pulled one, that's for sure, Rosarina. But if he's helps me complete the set, I can't remember if I've got another one hanging out in the background off the top of my head, but... If not, I can always look for him later. I'm just quickly going through here. There's the Rosarina. All right, for the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card, right? Okay. Let me move this stack off to the side here. Okay. I think it was just the one of Rosarina, right? There we go. Yep. So let me uh, tell you what. I'll, I'll get him... Sleeve for sure, because I want to. Uh, I want to see if I can complete another set first, and if he allows me to complete that other update set, I'll do that that way. But uh, uh, he went off during the World Series, and yes, just the one. Okay, thank you. No problem. I found him. We're good to go. Uh, Brett Anderson with the Brewers. Sean Murphy with the Athletics rookie debut card for May 19, 2019. Uh, Anthony Alford with the Toronto Blue Jays. Hunter Pence with the Giants. CJ Crone with the Di Tigers. Uh, Andy Burns with the Blue Jays rookie card. Eduardo Nunez with the New York Mets. Ken Griffey Jr. There we go. I think there's four or five Ken Griffey Juniors in the update, I think. We've found three of them so far, along with one. Um, Cal Ripken Jr. So we're on a pretty good roll there for that for now. With Ken Griffey Juniors, three Ken Griffey Juniors, and two... Uh, or one Cal Ripken Jr., Jared Dyson with the uh, Pirates. Uh, boom! There's another Lewis Robert. Lewis Robert. 
Where's my Kyle Lewis? We're, we got to find a Kyle Lewis out of this update. I need another Kyle Lewis update. Let me get into him into a top loader here. For sure, the Kyle Lewis. For now. And down the road, if I do need for the update set, I can always pull it out of my Kyle Lewis set. So there we go. Two Kyle Lewises. Give you a little sneak peek for my January 30th sale. Uh, John Schmoltz. John Schmoltz with the Atlanta Braves. Turkey red card. Okay. Um, Nick Dini with the Royals. Greg Holland with the Royals. Mariano Rivera with the New York Yankees All-Star card. Then Omar Narvaez with the Brewers and Guy Giancarlo Stanton with the Marlins. There we go. Uh, da, 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 went off during the World Series. Ding, 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 ding. J Bob, woo hoo. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure. Wait, do I got. No, we do have six. Six packs after this one here. Or four packs. Something like that. I'm losing track now, but we'll see. We'll just keep going till we finish the box. Another security tab in here. All right. So, Curie Malina with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, Joey Votto, Cincinnati Reds All-Star Game. David Ortiz with the Boston Red Sox Home Run Derby for 2010. Zach Granke with the Astros. Peter Lambert with the Rockies. Then we've got uh, Nick Turley with the Pirates. Uh, Chesler Cuthbert with the White Sox. Uh, Craig Spear with the Royals rookie card. Alex Verdugo with the Red Sox. Then we've got Cat. 20 Years of the Captain, Derek Jeter, subset card. And then we've got the uh, Yoshi Satsugo with the Tampa Bay Rays, turkey red. Then we've had the Hewless Chaken with the Twins. Uh, Mark McGuire with the 1999 Home Run Derby. Um, Luis Severino with the Yankees. Jose Martinez with the uh, Blue... Blu-rays, or the Tampa Bay Rays, Blu-rays, <laughs> Josh Harrison with the Philadelphia Phillies, okay, now I think we're down to our final four, yeah, I believe it's the final four coming up here, I don't know what I was thinking, and we've got getting close to three and a half hours coming up here. Getting close to three and a half hours. So let's go here. Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers All-Star Game for 2011. Uh, Jesus Tinoco with the Rockies. Rookie card. Keenan Middleton with the Angels. Greg Allen with the Indians. Pete Alonzo with the Mets. All-Star Game. Uh, Jonathan Davis with the Blue Jays. Yasmani Tomas with the Diamondbacks. Brad Miller with the Cardinals. Uh, Rockin' Philly, uh, Harper and Segura, Channel Intercon Interconcert Concert. Ty Buttray with the Angels. We got a Turkey Red for Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon, yep, Andrew McCutcheon with the Philadelphia Phillies. You do get at least one turkey red in each one, so that's 24 more turkey reds. I might be getting closer to completing a set here. Jorge Lopez with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Cameron Mabin with the Detroit Tigers. Randy Arozarena. Randy Arozarena with the Tampa Bay Rays. Second rookie card for a Rosarena. So let me put these two together. We'll definitely have one of these, no doubt, for our sale coming up. 
Let me, uh, where'd that other Randy go? Boom, two Randy Rose of Ranius. So, boom, boom, boom. Uh, gotta run, make the wife take me out to dinner. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. You take care, Aaron. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you visiting for sure. Let me get the two. <laughs> That's funny. You said you did that super chat right when the furnace turned on. <laughs> All right. So let me get Bibby in here for a $2 super chat here. A $2 super chat for Bibby uh, right here. Sorry about that. Let me get Bibby in the Bibster of all things wax packed. Okay. Okay. Got your two additional entries in here, Bibby. Let me save the wheel so I don't lose anything if the power should go off or something or my computer just jumps the gun. All right. We got a couple more cards here. Uh, Sandy Leone with the Indians. And uh, here, let me just set these Randys right here. How's that sound? Put the Randy of Rosarinas right here. So he got Rookie of the Year also, just like Kyle Lewis, right? Is that for the, uh, for the American League? I mean the National League. The Tampa Bay Rays are National League, right? So I got those. And then uh, Devly Grillion with the Phillies, rookie card. Okay, getting down to two more packs left, I think. Or maybe it's three. I might be off. You know what? We'll be done when we finish all the packs. <laughs> There's still packs in the box. At least two. It might be four. My depth perception is maybe off. <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, unless somebody's been keeping track of count. Uh, Giovanni Gallegos with the Cardinals. Jesus Lazardo with the Oakland A's, September 11th, 2019. Rookie card. Boom, there's my Kyle Lewis rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. I knew I'd find at least one Kyle Lewis in here. Had to find at least one Kyle Lewis, and sure enough, I just did. We'll put the Kyle Lewis down here for now. All right. We got a Johnny Davis with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. A Jacob DeGrom all-star game card. A Justin Verlander with the Astros active leaders. Felix Pena with the Angels. Then we've got a Drew Smiley with the Giants. Mike Trout uh, leg leaders card. 292. We got another short print. An advanced stack card. They're all also turned around. But it's my Seattle Mariners. Nestor Cortez. Nestor Cortez with another short print card. But that'll go in my Seattle Mariners PC for sure. Let me just put that one up front here for now. That's not another one, is it? No, that's the same one. Just not much chatting going on. That's okay. We got five watching. Uh, we've got uh, 13 thumbs up. So that definitely counteracted the one thumbs down for sure. Uh, Eddie Murray with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, turkey red card. Okay. Then we've got a Miguel Cabrera. Uh, update series for, uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm confused. Jake Mar Marcinic with the Mets. Uh, Tino Martinez with the New York Yankees Home Run Derby, 1997. Junior Guerrera with the D-backs. Yoshi Hirano with the Seattle Mariners. And Miguel Cabrera with the Detroit Tigers. So let's see, I'm going to lift this next pack out. See if we got two packs left or four, if I can get it out.
Oh, yep, I was wrong. We've got three packs left after this one. I thought it was the last two, but there's still three more packs. I've got a Godon have an inking, an inkling to open a blaster of update for video for today. God bless and prayers for your mom and the whole family. Thank you there, Big Ray. Appreciate that. And you take care. Make sure you guys check out Big Ray's channel for his content he puts up also. Okay? So take care and you, you have a good one there, brother. All right. Kendall Graveman with the Seattle Mariners. Seattle Mariners. Left Behind always would comment on that. I haven't seen uh, Blake lately. Left Behind Times. Hopefully everything's fine with him. Hopefully he's just busy with work or something that keeps him on his toes. Chris Bryant with the Chicago Cubs All-Star Game. Uh, I want to go hunting for cards, but I am not because I know I'm not finding nothing. <laughs> Jake Newberry with the Kansas City Royals rookie card. Uh, Jeff Hoffman with the Rockies. Billy Hamilton with the Giants. Um... Albert Pujols with the Angels. Uh, Asher Bojachowski with the Orioles. Boom. <laughs> Travis Straw with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Stevie Wilkerson with the Baltimore Orioles. And boom, Ken Griffey Jr., 85 throwback card for the Seattle Mariners. So it looks like uh, we got... Four Ken Griffey Juniors today in the in the in the break in the opening here. Put this other Ken Griffey Jr. back here. So four Ken Griffey Juniors out of the box so far. Still have three packs to go. Maybe I'll get another one or find another uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Maybe Hunter Pence isn't this Hunter Pence with the San Francisco Giants Turkey Red card. All right, Alec Mills with the Chicago Cubs. Um, Ian Miller with the Cubs, rookie card. Uh, Ryan Weber with the Boston Red Sox. Starlin Castro with the Nationals. Uh, and Kevin Plowecki with the Boston Red Sox. All right. Let me go into this pack here with two more packs left in the box for sure i can see the bottom of the box lurking at there uh, the bibster of all things wax pack was that for my my ken griffey jr 85 throwback <laughs> um polar bear and squirrel nicknamed stars celebrate with the mets all right, uh, Yoan Perez with the Diamondbacks. Aaron Judge with the New York Yankees All-Star Game. Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr. There we go. Ken Griffey Jr. still ahead. Cal Ripken Jr. taking up the, the lead there with uh, Cal Ripken Jr. card number two. So card number two for Cal Ripken Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. is ahead four to two. They always I always have a challenge when I do a box opening that has Hall of Famers in it. So Griffey's ahead four to two in the score so far today for uh, Ken Griffey Jr. and Cal Ripken Jr. Kyle White, blah, Kyle Wright for the Braves. Uh, Bryce Wilson with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Alex Reyes with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Daniel Delasco with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Astrobal Cabrera with the Nationals. Then we got a Mike Musina, 1990s, 1990s Decades Best card. Hall of Famer. Uh, Byron Buxton, Turkey Red card for Minnesota Twins. Uh, Christian Arroyo with the Indians. Uh, Trent Grisham with the San Diego Padres rookie card. Josh Fagley with the Chicago Cubs. David McKay with the Tigers. And Richard Blear with the Baltimore Orioles. So we are down to our last two packs. Is 13 packs bad? 
13 packs. Huh. I want to go hunting for cards, but I'm not because I know I'm not finding any. Bibby's Boom. Let me uh, just do a refresh on the chat real quick here. On both of them so I know where I left off. All right. And at least if our furnace does go out, we do have a gas fireplace. We do have a couple of space heaters that we can use in the house. <laughs> so I'm not worried about that too much. Um, even though we have got snow in April before, it's not common. That's for sure. It's not common. So uh, sorry about that. Next to last pack. And then one more pack to go in the box. Garrett Richards with the Padres. Mike Trout. That's the 119 Mike Trout, not the U14 where I got the short print on Kevin's channel. By the way, Kevin is going live as far as I know. Uh, do you think it's bad? Uh, no. I mean, as long as you're not ruining the packs to try and search for a card. You know, if you want to try and see, okay, is this one heavier? Maybe this one's got an insert. But, you know, they do kind of trick you on those two. You don't necessarily get a hit because it might be heavier. They might have a spacer card in there. They have the thick spacer cards that makes it feel like it might be an insert, but it's a trick. So uh, I just go in and I buy, you know, if they show a card in the front, like some of them blister packs, and I see a player I like, like one time I found a Cal Ripken junior on the front so i bought that blister pack because i wanted the cal ripkin and i didn't mind what i got in the rest but you know when you can't see the cards you know you can look when you open up a pack of cards and say well okay i know there's a paper in here a turkey red um but i don't know what else is in here for sure um i would i wouldn't do it purposely just to see if you can find a hit but you know just go in and buy a couple packs and if you hit the jackpot you never know Buck Farmer with the Tigers. Uh, Jose Suarez with the Angels. Chris Sale with the All-Star Game for the Red Sox. We got the Chase Anderson with the Blue Jays. We got the Adam Engel with the White Sox. We got the Eric Mejia with the Royals rookie card. Boom, we got a gold Josh Fagley. Josh Fagley gold. Short print. For uh, 91 out of 2020. So that's an awesome gold card to get there. And then we did get a uh, number one prospect for the Dodgers, Kiebert Ruiz. Kiebert Ruiz. A couple of inserts in here. And then a, um, is that Mike? Yep, Mike Clevenger, turkey red card. Okay. And then we've got, for our last few cards, commons, basically, a Ty France with the Padres, a Starlin Marte with the D-backs, an Andrew Suarez with the Giants, and a Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers. Oh, one more. And a Julio Teheran with the Angels. So last pack magic. Can we get a big hit out of this last pack? We'll have to see. Two wrongs don't make a right, just an airplane. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right, just an airplane. If you didn't open that blaster pack, blister pack, you can multiply the value of that pack by seven times. Oh, by having the King, by having the Cal Ripken Jr. in it. Yeah, true, true. Especially if it had, say, they had a Randy or a, a, a no, that one. But yeah. Yeah, just having that one card in there, say a Cal Ripken Jr., and it was a variation card, so it was a it was a variation. I think it was a color card. He's, he's in my Cal Ripken Jr. collection right now. But yeah, I understand what you're saying too. There, Debbie, that is awesome. So last pack wonder here. I don't see any thick cards. I see my turkey red there. You can see by seeing that off color card there, as far as a turkey red. So let's see what we got in our last pack magic. Ma uh, blah, 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 blah. Last pack mojo, maybe. Uh, Max Scherzer with the Nationals All Star Game card. Kevin Ginkle with the D backs rookie card. 
a Araldus Chapman with the New York Yankees, a Derek Holland with the Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, Anthony Rizzo All Star Game from uh, I believe it's sixteen or eighteen, two thousand sixteen. A Pedro Stroop with the Cincinnati Reds, a Jorge Acala with the Twins rookie card, a Brad Peacock with the Houston Astros, a Nick Solak Texas Rangers rookie debut August the twentieth, two thousand nineteen rookie card, a Andres Jimenez with the New York Mets number one prospect card. A uh, Nick, is that Nick Castellanos? Yep, Nick, Nick Cast. I'm scaring myself. I'm knowing the first names of some of these players. Nick Castellanos with the Cincinnati Reds, Turkey Red, last one. Um, Diego Castillo with the Tamp Tampa Bay Rays, Josh Tomlin with the Atlanta Braves, Andrew Kinzer with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, time to party, Bogarts and Devers celebrate a walk off home run or a walk-off hit, one of the two, and Taylor Ward with the Angels is our last card. So awesome, awesome cards in this box. I'll go through and preview really quick here, and then we'll get into opening Bibby's box here. Let me put these up. I'll get you, Griffey. Sorry about knocking you over there. Let me turn the Griffey's over here so we can highlight through the Griffey's put this other stack here also in the box and I will sort these and see how close I am to completing a, a fourth update set. I remember when I opened the first box of update on my channel, the very first box, I was able to create uh, a complete update set of 300 cards out of one retail box. But of course the second box I didn't do as well but then after the third box, I was able to get another set complete and through a few other cards from other people, I s completed set number three. So if we finish the fourth box here and I can finish off uh, a fourth set, I would th say that's a, a pretty good turnaround for four boxes of retail. I feel really bad for people that can't aff can only afford retail and they can't get nothing because of the flippers. Oh, yeah, and then they even raised the price of the retail boxes. That is kind of not really nice. So let me move this out of the way so I can sort through that later when we finish the stream here. Get, set my Earl Averill cards away. Let me go through and just highlight some of my cards, of course, that I got in the box here. We got the Ken Griffey Jr. here, number one. Ken Griffey Jr., number two, 85 throwback. The that was the home run derby. This is the all star game, and this is just the home run derby. So, two home run derbies from two different years 94 99, the all star game from 1992, and the 85 throwback. So, that's four Ken Griffey Juniors, two Cal Ripken Juniors from the home run derby in 1991, and the all star game in 2001. Pretty cool there. I got a Kyle Lewis here for my Kyle Lewis collection. I got the two uh, cards for Lewis Robert, the the, tur the turkey red card, and the uh, 85 throwback for Lewis Robert. Didn't get the base Lewis Robert, but that was awesome. That's for sure. I, got, I won't go through all these, but I'll go through some of the the turkey chromes and the turkey cards that I did get here. Okay. Got uh, two turkey chromes, the Derek Jeter and the Carter Keyboom, and a bunch of uh, pretty much base turkey red cards here, which was pretty awesome there. Let me put these in the back here. And then uh, I did get the two Randy Rosarinas, so that was awesome there. Put these on top of the Kyle Lewis's there. So I remembered them. Okay. Then some of the inserts here, I'll kind of separate these out. Um, 
Donald, will you ever do a dollar sale? Uh, come back on January the 30th, the end of this month, is going to be my, my big 2020 sale. Okay? I don't think some of my bigger cards are going to be $1, but I will have, just so you do know, I will have a lot of dollar sale, a dollar cards. Okay? So that will be coming up, and it might be me, uh, what? might be a way for me to give back to uh, my supporters here. Laugh out loud. He said 2020 sale. It It is now 2021. Oh, yeah, I know it's 2021. But this first big sale of this year, after my uh, first 21, 2021 sale, all the cards in this sale on January the 30th are all going to be cards from the 2020 sets. So the, all the cards in my sale for the end of this month will all be um, set, subset and short print cards and serialized cards from 2020 products. So every card everybody will be familiar with because it's all going to be new players. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Look at all those eyeballs are looking. Really? So, yeah, I mean, you'll probably see Andres Jimenez here for the Mets. Kiebert Ruiz. Um, you won't see my Seattle Mariners. That'll be an, a, another day down the road sometime, sometime, somewhere. The Clark Schmidt. The Key Brian Hayes. I got uh, Jed Yorka with the, the throwback. That's the... Oh, what do they call that? What am I thinking of there, uh, Bibby? The throwback tops symbol. Um, the gold cards. The rainbow foil cards. Okay, got a couple of rainbow foil cards here. I think two. We got two or three rainbow foils. Uh, Josh Fegley with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Nolan Ryan. With the numbers numbers game and the 20 years of the captain, Derek Jeter. So these are all subset cards here that will be sorted and sorted through. And uh, so that is that stack there. I'll put these with the Randy, Randy or Rosarinas. Put these in the background here because we're going to get ready soon. i got to make room for part one of Bibby's box coming up. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., Jordan Alvarez, rookie card for the Astros, Shohei Otani for the Angels, and Bryce Harper for the Phillies. <clears throat> uh, you should buy Donald's four-sport set he has for sale from Classic. What? I have a four-sport set? For sale from Classic? I didn't know I had that. Where'd I get that there, baby? <laughs> oh, can you have other sports? Well, I'm almost, I'd say I'm probably 98% baseball. I don't have a lot of other sports. I do have some football and some basketball. I got to figure out what to do with those one time. Uh... Yes, last sale. <clears throat> oh, but that, I don't think that's for sport. I think that's just baseball. I'll have to look at the set again. I'm pretty sure it's all baseball. And then we have some of the decade's best here. Mike Mussina, Andrew McCutcheon, uh, New York Yankees, and Vladimir Guerrero. So just a few. These are all the highlights from all these and a bunch of these cards, not necessarily all of them, but a bunch of these will probably be in my January 30th sale. Okay? So I got to figure out how to attack Bibby's box now. Bibby, are you still here? I collect baseball, basketball, football, a little hockey, and some soccer. I'll have to see what I can hook you up with there, um, FJ. Uh, besides baseball, what's your next biggest sport that you collect, FJ? Besides baseball, what's your next biggest sport that you collect after baseball? 
uh, put them on your sale. Maybe I want them. Okay, we'll see next time around. Uh, they probably won't be dollar cards, but um, I've, if, I think I know what Bibby's talking about, but I believe it's football. I believe it's football. I collect everything but hockey. Okay, so football is. Uh, I might be able to go through and see if I can find some football stuff you might like. Do you like Hall of Famers for older cards or something like that? Just kind of curious. I'm sure your your dad will help you out in that realm probably, right? So um, let me turn the camera around because we're at getting close to four hours here. But I don't think we're going to go much longer. But let me turn the camera around real quick. I'm going to... There, I'm going to show you I'm going to open the box. But I'm not going to bring the whole box down here. So let me see if I can figure out how to open up Bibby's box here. This is going to be a challenge. But let me figure it out here real quick. I don't think I'm going to use the scissors. I think a knife would probably be better. Yeah, I'm going to get the knife. The knife is probably going to help me out better. Okay. So, can you guys see me a little bit here? Hopefully. I'm here. I'm going to open up this box without making a mess, hopefully. Uh, that's what happens when you have a big box and not much space to open it in. Um, let me go through here. Uh, you know what? If it cuts that, I'll have smaller pieces of blue tape, but that's fine. They will be used and not abused. Okay. Okay. I think I got that one, that one. Don't worry. I'm not doing anything sneaky here. I just got to get this box open without making a mess. Okay. Bibby does pack very well, by the way. In case you ever buy some big stuff from him, he does pack very, 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 very well. So without further ado, let me put this knife back on my table here. I got to get ready to end this stream. I didn't think I was going to do a four-hour stream today. Okay, his little note does say, okay, what's this one? That's a C. Um, okay, so let me see Bibby's note here. It says, um, let's see, so we've got uh, parts A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, 5, A, B, 6, A, B, 7, A, B, 8, A, B. 9AB says, Hope you enjoy Bibby. Uh, Colossians 3.17 says, And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Colossians 3.17. So it says there's team, ba team bags, 700 count. Uh, top loaders, 25 count. And then there's the, the, the parts... 1A, B, and C. So, Bibby, I need some help and guidance here. Nice, I will never invest in Zion. Don't see him panning out. Luke, the Anthe is a good player to invest in. So, uh, Bibby, I need some help. So, you said one of the flat envelopes. You have a 1C and a 1A and a 2A. So there's a 1, A, B, and C. I see the 2. Okay. So I've got the envelopes here. I've got a 1C and a 1A. And I see the 1B is a different kind of set. Do you, what order you want me to do this in? Your choice. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll start out with 1A. How's that sound? It's a little bit thicker one, but I'll start out with 1A. Does that sound good, 1A? How about I start out with 1A? Okay. So let me turn the camera back around real quick. I'll go back into the... Oops. Sorry. Let me go with 1A, and then we'll continue. 
I'll make up a schedule for all the rest of the stuff in here except for the team the team bags and for the the top loaders that you sent me because I can always use top loaders especially even if they're used ones that's fine I keep my nice new top loaders for my PC stuff but um, so I will leave that for now and this big box will be up here and I will I will I've got my little schedule where I do all my programming. I'll show you that. Here, I'll show, show you that real quick. So that I don't mind if you guys see this. This is just my schedule on how I do my programming for my channel. So I will map out the whole box as to each day when I do my part. So I know what part I'm on. Um, hello, Chuck. Oh, Chuck's here. Chuck, what's up, everybody? We just finishing. We are just past almost up to the four hour mark on this live stream so this is cool we got six people watching 14 thumbs up thummies up thummies up thummies up for me but this is my schedule i'm using this is a a fleet reserve calendar that i get i get calendars in the mail all the time so i can use them for all sorts of things but i will schedule you in i'll write on here for Today, the 15th, as we finish up this stream, I make notes when I add stuff to my content or make adjustments. But I will map out in January and February as we get into it um, all the parts to your box here. Socializing with Sonia's here. How you doing there? He, she's saying hi to Chuck. Make sure you get on Socializing with Sonia's channel. I'm helping her out. She's helping me out immensely by watching a lot of my massive content that I have on my channel. Uh, Sonia, you'll, you'll never run out of content on my channel. There's so much to watch and so many different things to, to look up. But I appreciate all the support you're giving me socializing with Sonia, with watching my play playlists. If anybody else can do that, if I can uh, start skyrocketing up with my viewership time, on my channel i think i can start growing exponentially i know uh bibby's gonna try and help me with that i have to go watch a movie doll have a good day and hopefully see you tomorrow no problem all right so let me i'm just gonna put this away but i will map everything out on here and uh maybe i'll text you a schedule so you know there bibby as for when i go through my family mail call package from you it looks like plenty and plenty and plenty of content for sure. So um, let me go ahead and get into uh, this first package here from Bibby here. He's got this in a envelope. If I open this right, I might be able to use it again and tape it back up since it has not been used yet except for that. I could put one of my stickers on there to cover that up. But uh, let me see if I can open this up without ruining everything and i could probably uh reuse this envelope oh i see these might be in in binder sleeves is that is that what this says bibby i see something in a binder sleeve in here uh uh the B bibster of all things that make the three parts a day into two parts per day uh, to lengthen out the openings. Uh, we'll see, baby. I'll see. I'll, I'll kind of... I want to try and open them up in order because I know sometimes that's probably... To me, at least, it makes sense and it's easier for uh, me, my head and processing everything that's taking place. But it looks like I could probably reuse this again. But let me see what we've got here. I'm just going to take a peek at the back of it right here. And it looks like this might be a, a set. Looks like this might be a set from, it looks like, uh, 2006. But let me put this envelope aside. I can reuse that to send out a priority flat mail package. A flat rate envelope for sure. So, uh, yes, a set. Okay, well... I'm going to get ready to turn this one over, and then we will show this set in the channel as we go through. Let me see. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me go probably this way. If I do it this way and turn the page. No, i got to turn the pages over first, and then I'll turn the pages. Oh, my word. This is awesome. 
I have never seen these cards before. That is for sure there, Bibby. I have never seen this set for sure. This is awesome. My word. So did they have a name for this set? Are these... Let's see. Earl Batty. Let me just check something really quick here. I want to look at my list here. I know Juan Marco, Monty Irvin, Will Clark. Uh, Willie McCovey, Eddie... Gadel, 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 uh, Ken Williams, Earl, Earl Batty, Earl Batty. So they're not necessarily all Hall of Famers, but must be awesome players in here. So let me see how the, so I know how the order goes in these from left to right. There we go. So we do have, uh, let me hold up the first first page here and I'll go through these one by one. It's kind of good to do it this way. Uh, Juan Maracal, uh, San Francisco 1960 to 1973. It looks like they call these the SP Legendary Cut Set. And all right. Uh, Monty Irvin uh, with the New York Giants I believe back in the day. Uh, 1949 to 1955. 1955 was the year my wife was born. <laughs> legendary SP legendary cuts. Will Clark, 1986 to 1993. All right, then we got uh, Willie McCovey, 1959 to 1980. Eddie, is that Gidel? Gidel? Get Gidel. This is awesome. An awesome set there, Bibby. I'll have to binderize these. <laughs> Catch that? I'll have to binderize these. I kind of coined that term when I was on uh, Kevin's stream one day, I think. Just me being silly and out of the ordinary, that's for sure. Uh, Ken Williams with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, we got Earl Batty. With uh, Minnesota Twins, Rick Farrell with, I believe it's the Washington Nationals. Doesn't really say on the back there. Uh, Bob Gibson with the St. Louis Cardinals. So this is an awesome 100-card set. Bibby, my word. Uh... Oh, five dollars for a pack of four cards back in the day. Oh my word! So you would buy a pack of cards and you would get four cards for five dollars, and then you just had to keep buying packs if you wanted to try and complete the set, right? My word, baby, this is very generous. This is very generous of you. But let's hi highlight through the second page here. That was the first nine cards in the set. I think it's the whole 100-card set. We got uh, Elmer Flick here. Let me see if I can hold these closer and get you a bit better picture of the cards. Elmer Flick, uh, 1902 to 1910. Joe Medwick, 1932 to 1948. And Lou Brock, 1964 to 1979. Then we have uh, Ozzie Smith, 1982 to 1996. Red Show and Dice, 1945 to 1963. And then we've got Stan the Man Musial, 1941 to 1963. Then next here we've got Tony Oliva, 1962 to 1976. Phil Necro, with his hairdo, 1964 to 1987. And Boog Powell. 1961 to 1974. This is an awesome set there, Vivi. These are ones I like to one day just sit down and read through the, the stories that they tell on the back of the cards. <clears throat> That's for another day and another stream. That's for sure. But let me get a, a swig of water here.
<clears throat> Let me make sure I didn't miss any text from my family here during all the excitement and fun here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Okay. I got a voicemail, but that's not there. Okay, nothing from my family. Just keeping up to date, make sure I don't miss anything from, from the fam back east. <clears throat> oh, my word. I know I don't have that Cal Ripken, but now it's in a set, so I will keep it in a set in honor of Bibby donating this to the channel, but that is an awesome Cal Ripken Jr. card. I might have to find one of those for my... PC collection for Cal Ripken Jr. That is awesome, Bibby. Gives me more cards to search for. <laughs> uh, at Chuck, I have a package to send you. We'll send to you when my card arrives from a subscriber win. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Brooks Robinson, 19... Uh, I believe that says 55. Yeah, 55 to 77. Cal Ripken Jr. from 1981 to 2001. Eddie Murray from 1977 to 1996. And then uh, we've got here Frank Robinson, 1966 to 1971. Jim Palmer, 1965 to 1984. Is that a uh, quick question there, Bibby? Is that just the year they played for the team that they're showing on the card? Uh, Jack O'Conlon, that's an umpire. That's neat. They show the umpire emblem there from 1911 to 1906 or 1941. Where's Jocko? 1941 to 64. Okay, 23 years as an umpire for Jack O'Conlon. And then we've got Carlton Fisk. With Boston, 1969 to 1980. Uh, Dwight Evans, 1972 to 1990. Um, Fred Lynn, 1974 to 1980. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice set for sure. I got to find a binder to slide this one into whenever I get these flat sets from Bibby. I guess that's what these will be. <laughs> this is box number three for a a year, 12 boxes of Christmas. I'm going to call it year-round Christmas. Um, here we go with uh, Jim Rice, 1974. Uh, Jim Rice, 1974 to 1989. Um, Ted Williams from 1939 to 1960. Uh, Wade Boggs from 1982 to 1992. We got Hugh Duffy from 1892 to 1900. Kid Nichols from 1890 to 1901. And Johnny Vandermeer from 1937 to 1949. Then we have uh, Dolph Camilli from 1938 to 1943. Carl Yastrzemski from 1901 to 1983. And from uh, Hick Haffey from 1924 to 1931. Chick Haffey, sorry. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're going to need three binders. Well, I've got some thick ones. I've got some thick binders, but I might have to buy some more because the, the binders I have that are on standby on, on the side are for when I organize my Ken Griffey Jr. and uh, Cal Ripken Jr. collections. But when you come on vacation out here, Bibby, I need you to stay probably for a week to help me get organized. <laughs> Just teasing, okay? <laughs> if you want to move out here for, for a month, we can put you up somewhere, I'm sure. Or figure something out. But if it can only be a week, I understand. I'm just messing with you. It's a box, Chucky. There we go. All right. 
Uh, you can always tell, uh, Chuck, you can always tell uh, Bibby where to send the box. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, Bibby, he had a package I sent to him got stolen. I feel so bad about that because everything that was in it is irreplaceable. Um, so Kirby Higby with the Boston, the Brooklyn Dodgers, 1941 to 1917. Or no, 41 to 47. I'm reading that wrong. I could hardly see the four. Uh, Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese from 1940 to 1958. And then uh, Pete Risser, Reiser from 1940 to 1918. Boy, they put these in groups, don't they? The Brooklyn Dodgers, the California Angels, Chicago Cubs. Um, I think that's the Cleveland Indians down interesting interesting all right but then we got uh don sutton do we have a don sutton earlier is that the second don sutton from uh 1985 to 87 rod carew from 1979 to 1985 with the angels uh, andre dawson from 1987 to 92 with the cubs then we have uh Billy Herman with the Cleveland Indians. Or no, is that the Chicago Cubs still? How come Cleveland and Chicago kind of have similar emblems on their hat for their C's? I'm pretty sure the Cleveland one has a little tip to the left of the C, if I remember right. So Billy Herman, don't for sh know for sure where what team Billy Herman's from doesn't say on here um billy williams with the chicago cubs and charlie root with the chicago white Sox. i'm pretty sure that's the white so but see i don't know the c is identical so it's really tough sometimes the cubs okay i'll say the cubs that's just two different uniform types there all right, that takes us through card number 45, continuing through the set here. We've got uh, Fergie Jenkins with the Chicago Cubs. Ernie Banks with the Chicago Cubs, uh, 1966 to 1983 for Fergie. Ernie Banks from uh, 1953 to 1971. Um Hack Wilson from 1926 to 1931. I guess that's the Chicago Cubbies still. Still on the Chicago Cubs. Oh, I kind of see a... Oh, no, okay, I see the emblem there for the Chicago White Sox on that. The next one's coming up. Okay, pay attention to your emblems and look at the difference. I see the White Sox the way they got their design back in the day. Uh, Hack Wilson, 1926 to 1931. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, that's just Bibby and Chuck talking back, to, back and forth to each other. So I'm good to go in the chat. After this next round here on these sheets, I'll refresh the chat so I know where I left off. Uh, Gabby Harnett with... Uh, I think this is the White Sox. They kind of got them mixed up in here now. All right, but 1922 to 1940. Yeah, this set is a nice set there, Chuck. Uh, Ken Hubbs, 1961 to 1963. And Kiki Collier from 1928 to 1935. All right. Harnett was the Cubs. Okay. Okay, I see the B. The, the BS from the CUBS on the shirt, probably. <laughs> uh, I built 10 sets of this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for allowing me to have a set. This is awesome. Okay. That's what that one was. Um... So Mark Grace, 1988 to 2000. Ryan Sandberg from the Chicago Cubs, 1982 to 1997. Uh, Harold Neuhauser, 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. If I would have had time in a, uh, if I would have had time ahead of time, I would have put it in a binder. But I will get it in. I will get it binderized later. I think I do have a standby binder that isn't spoken for so far. Let me do a refresh on the chat here. And we are over four hours on the stream. I wasn't expecting to go this long today, but it's fun. This is fun. And thanks for hanging out with me there, Bibs, the Bibster of all things Wax Packed and his new channel name. Oh, yeah, by the way, Chuck, in case you didn't know, make sure you hop on uh, the Bibsters of all things Wax Packed as soon as he hits 100 subscribers. Um, he's going to start doing live streams. So once we can get him to three or 100 subscribers, he's going to start doing live streams. So let's see how quick we can get him to uh, 100 subscribers. And yeah, that's fine, Chuck. When you have people come into your uh, videos and stuff, make sure you shout out Bibby so we can get him up to 100 subscribers. I know most of us in our community are. And I know Kevin's going to probably go live at 3 o'clock, so i got to hurry up and finish here. I could ramble all the way till Kevin goes live. And then we could just all jump onto Kevin's bus. <laughs> go over to his channel. But uh, let me finish up here. Let me do one more refresh on my chat on my other computer so I know where I left off. Because I sometimes keep an eye on both. But let's see, we're up through card number 54, so let's continue on through this set. Um, Charlie Robertson with the White Sox, 1919 to 1925. Harold Baines, 1980 to 2001. Kevin just texted me, no stream tonight. He's launching rockets today. The weather is perfect for it. Oh, okay. All right, but that <laughs> I'm not going to go any longer. <laughs> I'm going to probably finish up as soon as we finish here. Uh, I, I haven't even had my lunch break yet. My thumb, my I'm getting grumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> Harold Baines, 1980 to 2001. Yeah, there we go. Harold Baines with the white socks there, Chuck. Uh, Louis Ar Aparicio, 1956 to 1970. Chicago White Sox. Next up to bat is Luke Appling with the Chicago White Sox. We got a bunch of White Sox coming up right, right now here. And then uh, Nellie Fox with the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox. I noticed the way they did these. I'm paying attention now. 1950 to 1963. Ray Schlack with the White Sox. 1912 to 1928. Then we have uh, Freddie Lindstrom, 1924 to 1932. Uh, oh, Sloppy Thurston. Sloppy Thir Thurston. Uh, the Cleveland Spiders. <laughs> um, Sloppy Thurston, 1923 to 1928. Six with the White Sox. Um, Red Faber, 1914 to 1933 with the White Sox. Okay. Awesome. This is awesome, Bibby. Nice set to do some previewing on for sure. Um, uh, Vern Kennedy. Vern Kennedy. All right. With the White Sox. Oh, Faith Family and Sports is missing this one. He probably don't have this card. Barry Larkin for the uh, Cincinnati Reds. See that little tail on Cincinnati there? That's what always clues me in between Chicago and Cincinnati. Uh, Cleveland, I think, has a little bit different for their emblem, too. But Barry Larkin, 1986 to 2004. And Bucky Walters, 1938 to 1948. Then we've got Dole Loke, Loke or Lacou, Lacou, probably French maybe, 1918 to 1929. Uh, Al Campana, Campanus, 1943 to 1987 with the Los Angeles Dodgers, I think. 
Um, and then Ernie Lombardi with the Cleveland Indians. Or, nope, uh, not the Cleveland. The Cincinnati Reds. Sorry, I just caught it on his jersey. <laughs> Corrected myself. George Foster with the Cincinnati Reds. Joe Morgan with the Cincinnati Reds. And Johnny Bench with the Cincinnati Reds. So a bunch of Cincinnati Reds coming up here. Looks like they're going in sequence with teams for the most part. Ken Griffey Sr., Ken Griffey Jr.'s daddy for the Cleveland Indians. Or the Cincinnati Reds. Man, I'm getting tired. With the Cincinnati Reds from 1973 to 1990. Ted Klazuski. With the Cincinnati Reds from 1947 to 1957. Tony Perez from 1964 to 1986. Wally Post with the Cincinnati Reds from 1949 to 1963. Uh, Bob Feller with the uh, Cleveland Indians um, 1936 to 1956. Um, Bob Lehman, 1946 to 1958 with the Cleveland Indians. Then we've got Earl Averill with the Cincinnati Reds from 1929 to 1939. Uh, Joe Sewell with the Cincinnati Reds, I believe, still 1920 to 1930. And Johnny Hodap from 1925 to 1932 with the Cincinnati Reds. So that takes us through 81. Let's do the next nine cards in the set here. I think we got like two more pages and a card. Because in uh, 10 pages, you can get 99 cards. So it took 11 pages to finish this set. You get nine cards on a page. Larry Doby, 1947 to 1958 uh, with the Cleveland Indians. Lou Bordeaux with the Cleveland Indians from 1938 to 1950. Rocky Golovito with uh, 1955 to 1967. Then we have uh, Stan Kowalewski. With the Cleveland Indians from 1918 to 1924. Then we've got uh, Nat LaJoy with the Cleveland Indians uh, 1902 to 1914. Or is that the... No, it says the Cleveland Indians. Yep. I guess they changed their, the, their C lettering there. <laughs> and then Al Kaline for 1953 to 1974 for the Detroit Tigers. Okay, then we have Alan Trammell, 1977 to 1996 with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Charlie Gehringer with the Detroit Tigers, 1924 to 1942. And Denny McLean. With the Detroit Tigers, 1963 to 1970. Okay, covers us to card 90. The next one here, we'll go through 99, and then we'll have one more for the end. Uh, Hank Greenberg with the Detroit Tigers, 1930 to 1946. Uh, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer, last new Hall of Famer last year. 1977 to 1990. Or no, not Morris. I was thinking of Miller. Marvin Miller was last year, not Morris. Jack Morris was inducted. Can't remember the year for sure. Don't have it on my cheat sheet. All right. And then uh, Mark Fidrich, 1976 to 1980. Uh, Ray Boone, uh, 1953 to 1958 for the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Rudy York, 1934 to 1945 with the Detroit Tigers. Um, Buck Leonard, 1934 to 1950 with the Grays. The Grays. What was that city for that? 
for the grays. Okay. And then we've got uh, Bo Jackson, Bo Nose, for the Kansas City Royals, 1986 to 1990. We got Zoilo Versales, 1959 to 1969, with the Washington Nationals. And then John Crook, 1980 to 1984, with the Philadelphia Phillies. And one last card for the set here, and then we'll get ready to end the stream for today. Um, Don Drysdale with the Los Angeles Dodgers from 1956 to 1969. Again, I'll show you what the backs of the cards look like. Here we'll just highlight uh, the Don Drysdale card at the back here. Again, this is from a 2006 Upper Deck Cards. All right, Don Drysdale. Gives you some of his uh, stats, his height 6'6", six, six, weight 216, bats right, throws right, born s July 23rd, 1936. And Drysdale had an incredible 1968 season in Los Angeles, beginning on May 14th with a shutout against the Cubs. He engineered a streak of 58.2 scoreless innings, a major league record which stood until 1988, Eight of Drysdale's 14 victories were shutouts. And his career best, 2.15 ERA, ranked sixth in the National League. So that's what you, you gather a lot of the facts on the back of baseball cards that most people, when they look, they just look at the fronts of the cards and think, oh, wow, that's a cool card. That's a nice card. But then you got to take time and read the backs a lot of thought and process went into the making of these baseball cards. That's what's awesome all around. So that's what I like and enjoy about the cards is when you do have sets like this and you put them in binders, you can go through and read them just like a book. You can read the history about the different cards in the set, why maybe that was made into the type of set like it is. But this SP Legendary Cuts is an awesome set, Bibby. And I will cherish this, and this will be part of my PC collection for sure. I'm just trying to see if I can straighten it out. When it gets in the binder, I'll be able to make more sense of it. But that was awesome, Bibby. I really appreciate that. Hats off to Bibby. I appreciate that. Appreciate those that popped in the chat. Robert Hone, have you been sticking with me on and off through this whole stream? <laughs> appreciate you being in here. That means it's given. I might get a good 20, 30 watch hours from my live stream today. That is awesome. I'll kind of uh, down the road as the channel progresses and stuff. The next day, what I might start doing is highlighting how many watch hours I got the day before. But this is fun for sure. So, um... Robert Hone, thanks for showing back up in the streams. I appreciate you being here, brother. Hope all is fine with you down in Texas. The Bibster of all things wax packs says, "Go eat, Donald. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do, do that before my wife gets home this afternoon, so that I can eat dinner with her later." Um, but other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my stream for today. I will turn my camera around. Again, I'm not wearing my usual garb here. I switched. But um do appreciate everybody that showed up today. It looks like, let's see, we went, we've been going for four hours and twenty-two minutes. Roughly four hours and twenty-two minutes. Um actually four hours and twenty minutes. I'm thinking I, I think I started an, a minute or two after ten o'clock by what I'm showing on my uh, stream here, it shows 260, almost 261 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around, give you my signature salute and goodbye in the channel, and show you a little bit of my t-shirt I'm wearing. Again, I'm wearing my Man of Faith shirt today, and my Man of Faith baseball cap. Um, yes, it was long today, and thanks for hanging in with me the whole time there, Bibby. That is really awesome, and I really do appreciate it. But this has been Donald Blondahl, Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. 
Donald Blomdahl by God's grace. And I look forward to creating more and more content continually on this channel. And I really do appreciate Bibby for uh, being my, my uh, a special friend in the channel in our card community for sure and it was fine i did go on a rant i'll update my title as to what i did today and put in uh bibby's part one of i'll count up how many parts we're going to do this in but um as soon as i look through the box and see exactly what's in here i'll kind of schedule everything out where it'll be part one part two through whatever or if i do more than one part i'll do the I'll pro since he does have them lettered as 1A, B, C, 2A, B, 3A, B, C, different things like that. I'll go through and schedule the whole thing. Um, maybe won't finish it up in February. May finish it, or, or won't finish it up in J January, but we'll finish it up uh, early February for sure. Because I know in February I'll be having bark box four on its way. So, um... But thank you, Bibby, for everything you do in the channel. Or I should say, the Bibster of all things wax packed. I really do appreciate you, Bibby. And thank you for all that gave me super chats today. My my reader board says on my YouTube live says I made $27.43 in super chats today. So I do appreciate that. And did get we got five people watching, got 14 thumbs up. 14 thumbs up so i appreciate that so let me uh, that's for the furnace fun yeah <laughs> so comment commit and stick that was the mantra from the the middle of the stream where i went on my rant and not wasn't so much a rant it was just uh uh how you how you do your back office maintenance and I'll go into more detail in another stream on that. Maybe when, when I interview and talk with uh, Bibby. Uh-oh, Haley Deegan, NASCAR fan, Cardinals 1990, just gave me a one another $1 super chat. Uh, so in a second here, I'll, I'll recognize that there. Haley Deegan, NASCAR's fan 1990 for that dollar. I'll give you the bell ring right now. But I'll get that added into the giveaway for January. We're up to 28.43. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You all take care. And we will see you tomorrow morning for our searching for gems in the rough. Going through that next row in the box for my uh, content. My wife is off for four days. She'll be off tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. And she got a bonus day off next Tuesday. So my wife will be home. But I still have my live stream schedule for tomorrow. We're good to go there, and I will have one on Tuesday, but I will have my Sunday, Monday as a break. So you all take care, and we will see you all around the channel sometimes where you might least expect me to be. Bibby just bumped me up to $29.92 with a $1.49 cat again. <laughs> Thanks, Bibby. I will get the Bibster of all things wax packed. I'll get your two additional entries, and we will be good to go for there, okay? I'm going to turn the camera around, probably throw on some bubbles before I do sign off, and type in my signature goodbye as I do that. But thank you all for hopping in with me today. It's been a blessing for sure. Bye, all. Okay. So I'll be back. I'll be here just for a moment as I get ready to finish everything up in the stream. Let me get uh, Haley Deegan NASCAR fan 1990 in for the Super Chat giveaway for January. All right. And then let me get the Bibster of all things wax packed in here for two entries. All right there we go so pretty much i got 30 dollars in super chats really do appreciate that you all take care and have a wonderful and blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow morning same bat time same bat channel at 10 o'clock uh maybe it might be even a little bit earlier we'll see but um 10 o'clock for sure maybe earlier but probably not later okay so let me go ahead and finish up do my signature thanks for all the support today
<laughs> I worked hard today. <laughs> I guess you could say I earned my keep today. What's that average? About seven fifty an hour. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not really. <laughs> I'm just having some fun. It's been fun today, baby. Appreciate you hanging out with me for sure. Um, I'm just trying to add one more thing in here before I. Uh, There we go. Thanks for all the support and awesome content we had in today's live stream. Until tomorrow, have a wonderful and blessed day. Appreciate all the super chats in the stream today. And keep praying for my mom. Thank you all. And you all take care. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.